Ine, kero kende nore ase county ya kisi gose chi county chieta naine Mkori yore amabogani asora nyora bakulani weke rengo keigoro ase rigo lirike Wono, wabati boyo, abuga hotel rene rori chivuri yao Tutarele ase nsemo ya ajogo eliyoko toka ase epare kuruwa kisi kogenda nyamira Asogu ale wechimita chiminye kuruwa ase nsemo ya daraja moya Abuga hotel la nigo ebuate endagere ngia yege koro na boigo ense mingi ya yoboraro Inyora, ama kuri ito, iyo bakara di nigo, ale inse mono Aso kurara, obo tuko mo lioka, nigo, uwa kana shiringi, edibuwe ya emo, chile sachi ya Kenya O inyore, aiga, no konyora, chindagira, cheke kusibuna, erongori, ege sanda, ay shiringi, emerongo, etano, chioka Alitoke, esani, ase shiringi, emye ya emo yoka Engoko, yeke kusii, ege sare, linagu, na boigo li sosa Turangeri, go etra, ase namba, enoti, isano, ibere, ibere, kianda, isato, ibere, isato, inye Isano ibere kianda gose 0729-323479 Abuga Hotel, mokalari weka nangoke goro aseri gori liansi Ine, aye no mwole mi asense mo yobotugi ibuwe chingo kogo se ote toko chaka obotugi obuo Bono, ebi nto vya beire ebi ororo Nto buwate ebi chuchu vya akena plowas Ina ina ye chingo ko chigo kina aso wango mono na boyo kukotuara ebi bere emenene Bono, ebi nto vya beire buya Na boko nyora ebi chuchu vya lituko elimo Abire gose ama tuko atato Waitira aso wakesi mi enamba enamba Enoti isano ibre, eye mo isato, isano ibre inye, isano inye, inye isano ibre. Go se 0713-745447. Ole terwe limo olioka. Inyora, inyora mbasa, tole kubo mbasa, tole kubo mbasa, tole kubo mbasa, chile chon. Sumo County, Gavana Wetu Mpendwa, His Excellency Professor Anyang Nyongo, Tayari Amefika Kumboleza na Sisi, Kutoka Western Vihiga County, Gavana Wetu Mze Will Papo Soti Chilo, His Excellency Ako Pamoja na Sisi, Kutoka Gomez County, Gavana Wetu His Excellency Dr. Hirali Bashok, Tayari Amefika kumbeleza na sisi. Pia tuko na naibu gavana ambayo tayari wamefika kwenye ukumbi. His Excellency Dr. Wili yuko pamoja na sisi kutoka Kisumu na pia His Excellency Dr. Okumbi kutoka Siaya County hapo pamoja na sisi. Wageni ni wengi na wengine wako njiani kuja. Wote ambao tayari wamefika wakiongozo na magavana wetu mbalimbali tunawakaribisha na kuambia kwamba Bwana Yesu awabariki kwa sababu ya kuja kutufariji kutokana na msiba ambao ushatukumba kwa kumpoteza gavana wetu mpendwa mheshimiwa John Obero Nyagarama Kiro tafadhali kama wengine wamefika tujulishe kwa ya nilikuwa nimewaita tafadhali Ebeneza Ebeneza hatuna mda kama nyaibu wa SDA kwa ya pia imefika tafadhali nyaibu wa SDA church kwa ya kama mwemefika tunaomba kwa mba mje hapa mbele samahani 
pia ndani yetu nimejulishwa gavana wetu kutoka Bungoma His Excellency Wangamati pia amefika na pia tuko na CEO wetu wa Lake Region Economic Block Abala Wanga pia yuko na sisi kwa kuja kuongoleza pamoja na sisi hizo kwa ambazo nimeita tafadhali mje kwa haraka kwaya zingine mjipange hapo ikimuomba ndugu yangu Kirwa atujulishe wageni wengine ambao tayari wamefika kwenye ukumbi na karibisho nyote thank you my brother of mc bwana sirwell uh, we are still receiving more and more and many questions with us and i want to recognize the presence of our host speaker mshimiwa mopa chichea I want to recognize the presence of the speaker Kisi County, Mushimo Dimji Kombo. I want to recognize the presence of the host women representative Mushimiwa Jerusha Momani. I want to recognize the presence of the women representative Kisi County, Mushimiwa Janet Ungera. I want to recognize the presence of the women representative Homa Bay County, Mushimiwa Gladys Wanga. I want to recognize the presence Mshimiwa Janet Komenda from Mkirango na mshimiwa wengi ma MCs from both counties CCs from every county that have come with us mshimiwa ma governors mshimiwa ma deputy governors watch ambao umekuja kuongoleza pamoja nasi i can see more you can be prepared for a song as we continue with nyewa karibu
Mungu aweza kufariji familia na awatie nguvu kwa lizo wake. Nipatie wimbo tafadhali DJ.
ndugu sana Ebenezer tupe tune yenu Ndoto kwanza sasa tutaanza rasmi programu yetu ya siku ya leo kwa hivyo wageni wote ambao mmefika watu wanaendelea kupita picha kati ya wageni tumesimamisha kusalimia wageni wetu kwa sababu ya protocols za covid-19 hebu tukaheshimu hilo kwa sababu hatuwezi endelea kusalimia wageni na tuna shida ambazo zimetukumba kwa hivyo tuti na tuheshimu na yeyote ambaye unaona kiti kwa karibu na wewe tafadhali chukua kiti ukae ili tuweze kuwa na usalama katika shughuli nzima ya siku ya leo. Ini Ebeneza, are you ready? Hapa nyangongo. Hapa nyangongo. Oh, hapa nyangongo ni combination of goosey artist. Hapa ninaona Otiso akiwa mbele ya mic. Karibu sana hapa nyangongo. Chapa kitu alafu mtobariki. Karibu sana. Tuweke hapa nyangongo hapo.
thank you wapi Amina yao ili ni shirika kubwa la waimbaji wetu kutoka Pagusi wote wamekuja pamoja kwa ajili ya kutumbuiza kiwa tutapata nafasi tukiwa mwili wa mwenda zake umefika hapa basi tutapata nafasi ya kuwaita tena muje mtuibie wakati kupatikana basi tunapo anda kuingia katika program ya kanisa ingewaita tente SDA kwa ya kwa ajili ya kutuasha ili kuingia kwenye program ya kanisa mwili tu utakapokuwa unaingia hapa Asante mwimbaji wetu wote ambao wameshiriki na kufanikisha sherehe nzima ya siku ya leo na tunawakaribisha sana kwa kufanya sherehe hizi kuwa safanaka kabisa siku ya leo ninyi mumekoa baraka ninyi mumekoa furaha tangia jana tangia tupate msiba huu waimbaji wamekuwa pamoja nasi kwa wingi shughuli yote mumeifanya kuwa ya furaha kabisa hata kana kwamba tulikuwa na shida kabisa mumefariji mioyo yetu umeifanya tumekuwa tumetulia na hiyo ndio tunaomba zaidi wachungaji wetu ambao wamekuwa pamoja nasi tangu shughuli nzima imeanza tunawaambia asante na tunawashukuru kila mmoja ambaye ameshirikiana pamoja nasi kwa niaba yetu ya MC hapa mbele tunawapenda na tunasema Mungu awabariki sana kwa sababu umefanya shughuli nzima ya gavana wetu mwenda zake kuwa ya fanaka kabisa Mwili umewaziri hapa ndege ilikuwa imembeba mwenda zake tayari imetua na dakika yote kuanzia sasa wanaingia mwili anaingia hapa kiongozi na magavana wetu watakuwa wameubeba ili kumzindikiza gavana mwenzao na bunde tu watakapokuwa wanaingia kwenye ile lango jukua ama hema lolote watu wote tutasimama juu kwa ajili ya kumheshimu gavana wetu watakapokuwa wanaingia watu wote tutasimama waongolezaji wote tusimame tumupe gavana wetu heshima zake anazo staili na una familia tayari wamefika kwa ajili ya shughuli ya namna hiyo asante kwa sababu ya shughuli hiyo na sisi tunafurahi kwa sababu ya kuingia e, tente na mimi umefika karibu sana tunakumbushwa pia kwa heshima Kindly take your hand and touch your mask. If you are sitting next to someone who is not putting his or mask rightly, kumbushe tafadhali aweze kuvaa maski yake vizuri kwa sababu ya hali ambayo tulivyo. Tunakumbushwa pia mazishi tena live on Citizen TV. Pindi tu tutakapoanza. Kwambieni marafiki, jamii pale popote walipo waweze kutazama na kufuata mazishi haya moja kwa moja Kenya Kenya kupitia kwa runinga yetu ya Citizen. Ya tatu ni kuwa tafadhali usiketi mahali ambapo haujaegeshewa kiti. All seats are labeled. I can ask you that you sit as per the arrangements. Thank you.
tafadhali wale ambao tumesimama kwenye ukumbi nachukua fursa hii kutukumbusha kwamba tuchukue viti vyetu tukae tukingoja ili tuelekeze kuna waombolezaji wenzangu wengi ambao wako kule nje tafadhali tunaomba kwamba muingie ndani mchukue nafasi zenu kwa sababu wakati wote kuanzia hivi sasa tutaanza ibada ya kumshukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa sababu ya nafasi aliyompa na bana gavana wetu mpendwa ambaye kisha kushalala mheshimiwa John Obero Nyagarama kwa sasa hivi nitaomba kwamba tukimie tusikilize kwaya yetu hii wanapo mshukuru Mungu na nitaomba kwamba gavana wetu mwili wake utakapokuwa unaletwa kwenye ukumbi huu sote tutasimama kupeana heshima kwa ya kiendelea kuimba kwa ya yetu ya tete tafadhali ule wimbo wetu DJ tupatie wimbo
Dr. Jack Magara, our Chief Officer in charge of Health Services Department, Dr. Jack Magara. Tafadhali unaitajika kule inje kwa nama governors. Tafadhali Dr. Jack Magara, our Chief Officer in charge of Health Services Department. Mahali popote umeketi, tafadhali unaitajika kule inje kwa eshi makubwa waombo kwa mba ufike kwa haraka. Asante sana kwa ya hii yetu Tumejifundisha kwamba Mwenyezi mungu hachelewi Atayajibu maombi yetu Kwa wakati wake Kwa hivyo Kwa hivyo Licha ya kwamba tumempoteza gavana wetu Kamwe tusife moyo Tusife moyo Mungu wetu hachelewi Atayajibu maombi yetu Kwa wakati wake ataka vyo yeye. Kwa hivyo waombolezaji wenzangu nitaomba kwamba sote tuchukue viti vyetu bado naona wengi tumesimama. Na wale ambao wako nje Fundi wa mitambo tafadhali Mr. Mbogo, Mike moja iende nje. Mike moja iende nje. Wakati wowote kuanzia hivi sasa Mwili wa gavana wetu mpendwa Mwishimiwa John Obiero Nyagarama Utakuja hapa mbele Ntaomba kwamba Ile kwaya yetu Hawa nyaikoma Hawa nyaikoma Tafadhali mje mbele ya hapa Tosha, tosha Sawa, sawa Ntasubiri kidogo tu Lakini mjiweke tayari Safari ambao unaongoza mwili wa gavana wetu check one two ambaye tulimpenda sana check one two check one two One, two. Uh, in the service right now.
this is how we begin prayer before we proceed to the main tent I'm reading from the book John 5 and verse 28 and 29 it says do not marvel at this for the hour is coming in which all who are in the graves will hear his voice and come forth those who have done good with the resurrection of life those who have done evil to the resurrection of the dead even as we construct may we conduct the service may we aspire to the Kinyakundi will give tunawasubiri walioko nje tunakushukuru kwa ji tafadhali wapatiwe kipasa sauti kingine tafadhali ufuliwe nyoi kamono kwa sababu amepumzika tuomba siku ya kwa ji na asa familia yake jina lako litukuzwe kwa nitoaomba tutaomba wachungaji wakuje mbele tusimame sote tusimame sote tafadhali sababu wakati wowote mwili wa gavana wetu utaingia kwenye ukumbi mwili itakapofika kila mtu atakapokuwa ameketi wachungaji watangoza kichwa familia mwili utaingia ndani Mwili itakapofika tutakapotulia tutaanda over program kwa kanisa ili waanze ibada Wanaoongoza msafara huo ni familia ambao watafuatwa na mwili wa governor wetu mheshimiwa John Nyagarama akisindikizwa kwa karibu na magavana wenzake na viongozi wengine ni siku ya uzuni kwetu sisi wote ambao tuliofanya kazi pamoja na mzee John Nyagarama na familia yake na watu wote waliompenda mzee wetu tukifanya sherehe na safari yake ya mwisho Tunawashukuru wote ambao wamehusika kwa njia moja ama nyingine. Serikali yetu kuu ambayo imewakilishwa hapa na Count Cabinet Secretary wetu Mheshimiwa Dr. Fred Matiangi na wengine tunawashukuru. Tunashukuru wote ambao walihusika. Na wale wote ambao mumefika tunawashukuru na tunaomba ya kwamba tuwe na utulivu hii ibada inapoanza hadi tutakapofika mwisho wa siku ya leo kuna mahali ambapo kumetengwa kwa jamii iketi na tunge, tungeomba wale wote ambao wameketi katika sehemu hiyo muwe mkiwaangalia jamii ili 
mtu yeyote kutoka jamii asikose mahali pa kuketi mwili we mwenda zake gavana john nyagarama ndio wewe umesindikiswa ukiingia ndani ya kanisa ndani ya ukumbi huu na tumemuona our first lady na jamii yote wakiwa wamewaziri na tunashukuru Mwenyezi Mungu kwa kuwapatia nehema walipokuwa wanasafiri karibu na magavana ambao wame mpatia heshima zao za mwisho mwenzao mheshimiwa John Nyagarama ambaye tunamwaga leo ambayo itakuwa sherehe yake ya mwisho tutakayomfanyia hapa katika ukumbi huu tunawashukuru wote ambao wamehusika na tunawasihi wageni wetu ambao mumefika tunawashukuru sana kwa kufika na wale wengine ambao We will hand over this to His Excellency. Okay, we will hand over to Senator Okongo Mogeni to take over the program from here. Thank you very much, Mali and Papa Tume Shirikiana. Uh, thank you. May I kindly request you to remain standing as I invite uh, Pastor William Mogaka to lead us in a word of prayer. Mr. Mogaka, please. As, as we remain standing, I want to invite you that we turn to our booklets, page 30, and we're going to sing song number 216. When the roll is called up yonder, I call upon the callster to read us. Song number 216. When the roll is called up yonder. When the roll is called, when the trumpet of the roll shall sound and time shall be no more. Let us sing together. When the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more And the morning breaks and turn all bright and fair When the saved of us shall gather over all no other shall And the roll is called up yonder I'll be there
bow down for a word of prayer. Love you, Lord, we want to thank you. We want to thank you for the life. We want to thank you for the traveling masses. We want to thank you for the life that you gave our honorable uh, governor, who has just left. As we are mourning him today, how we commit this program unto you, that you will be able to guide in everything that we do, it may give you glory. Lord, as we are mourning, again, help us to remember the hope and the resurrection morning. This is our humble prayer in the name of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. Amen. Uh, may I request that we all take our seats. Uh, and please, those who are on to my right, that, that place is reserved for family members. I will request that you leave the seats that are marked as family for family. To my right, please, ensure that uh, seats that are marked for family remain uh, strictly for family members. Uh, to the family of the late Governor, His Excellency John Obiro Nyagarama, led by the widow Naomi and the children, our guests who have come to mourn with us, led by our CS, Dr. Fred Matiangi, Governor colleagues who have come to bid by to their colleague, led by our neighbor, Governor of Kisi, Ms. James Ongwai, my fellow members of parliament, led by our host, Area MP, Kemosi Mogaka, who will be coming here in due course, fellow mourners, uh, people of Nyamira, representatives of the national government. It is really sad, extremely sad for me to be co-MC with James Ongwai as we pay our last respects to our departed governor, Mze John Obiero Nyagarama. On behalf of myself, my family, and the people of Nyamira, I want to welcome you all to this occasion. We will be co seeing this function with the our Mze, Mze Elvis Ongwai, who is a governor for uh, Kisi. Uh, for the VIPs, uh, we have our restrooms to my left, uh, just to my left. Those are the restrooms for the VIPs. And for the other guests, we have our restrooms to, to my right. Uh, without uh, taking a lot of time, I want to say pole to the family of Mze. And uh, as is the tradition, uh, this basically is a ceremony that should be guided by a fellow governor because we are burying a governor. I will therefore ask Governor Elvis Omariba Ongwai to come to the podium, I welcome his fellow governors and other mourners, and then invite. Uh, the church. My name is Okongo Omogeni, Senator for Nyamira, Poleni Sana, fellow people of Nyamira. Sante, Governor. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my brother, Senator and Senior. Okongo Mogeni, Mama Naomi Nyagarama, and your children, led by Mr. Matoke and others, the people of Nyamira, led by the, your Deputy Governor, Amos Nyaribo, the leaders who are here led by our own, our own brother, Dr. Matiangi, Dr. Fred Matiangi, our elder brother, the governors who are here, and there are quite a number of them, and others are coming, the chair of the Council of Governors is coming, the senators who are here, 
the members of parliament who are here, the members of the county assemblies who are here led by the various speakers, especially the speaker of Nyamira, my brothers and sisters, the, the regional commissioner, the county commissioner, commissioners, and I have seen quite a number from Kisi, at least I've seen from Kisi and Nyamira, the assistant county commissioners, the deputy county commissioners, our brothers and sisters who have come here this morning. For me, I really do not know what to say. I'll say a few things later on. The only thing I can tell, I can tell you, brothers and sisters who are here, is that we've lost a visionary leader. We've lost one of the best people in this world. And sometimes when we go to funerals, we have this habit of saying somebody is nice even when they were not nice. But here we are talking about a real nice person. Somebody that you would abuse but he could keep on smiling. And uh, I have indicated that when the time comes, I'll be able to say a few things because I have been with this man, known him for about 50 years. So ladies and gentlemen, we as governors are also extremely sad because this is our fourth governor who has left us since we started the devolution journey. And indeed, knowing how few we are, we can just ask you and we are begging you to pray for us because those numbers are not good for us. But again, we are all children of God, and this is our journey in this world. We are transiting in this world, so we pray to God to help all of us. Let me stop there and ask that uh, we now start the church service, then we will do other things after the church service. I'm here with Okongo Mugeni. I'm also here with the area MP Vincent Kemosi and will guide you after the church service. I thank you ladies and gentlemen and may God bless our brother and may he travel in peace. Uh, the church, the presiding pastor, I think it should be Dr. Samuel Makori or your president if he's here you can come and take over please. Thank you very much ladies and gentlemen. Thank you, His Excellency Governor Ongwai. Fellow mourners, I want to greet you. Good morning. Allow me to recognize a few leaders from church, churches that have come to mourn our governor. I'll start with Father Bernard to represent all the Catholic community that he may stand and probably say hi. With us also, we have Pastor Jonas Arama, who used to work also closely. May you stand and salute. Pastor Samuel Monyoro also used to work closely with the late governor. At this time, I want to welcome Pastor Dr. Ali Thomas Nyokundi, who is the executive director of Nyamira Westfield, so that he can be able to usher in the speaker of the hour. Pastor Karibu. Uh, our guests and the entire family of our beloved our leader who is already asleep. We want to remark that our leader was a great leader and also from the church point of view he was very instrumental in uh, ensuring that churches are reconstructed besides other things. At this point we want to 
bring the comfort which comes from the Lord through the scripture and in relation to the family our leader from this part of the world which is known East Kenya Union Conference Dr. Samuel Makori will bring the words and the message that will comfort not only the family but each one of us because it is, it is only in the scripture where we can get comfort. All of us are subject to death. But as long as we believe in the Lord, still we have that hope that soon he will come. So Dr. Makori, you are welcome, Elder, so that you may comfort each one of us and more particularly the family. Dear mourners, the chair co chairs led by His Excellency James Nguai, the CS Interior and Coordination of National Government, all the county fraternity led by the yet to arrive governor, all mourners, ladies and gentlemen, it's my honor and privilege and pleasure to lead this service as I was requested. The church brings deep condolences to the immediate family, those who have been left behind to live the life that God gave His Excellency John Yagarama, the extended family of the late governor, the county fraternities that His Excellency James said, there are few, but there are many, for seven of them, we want to bring condolences to that and more particularly to the Nyamira County Fraternity and the Kisi Nation, we want to bring condolences to the entire political fraternity, Kenya as a whole, and the religious fraternity. We have lost uh, a human being that God put here so that he can fulfill his part and then rest in the grave, awaiting the resurrection of the saints. And indeed, all people, as we read the opening hymn, the opening verse. Dear mourners, I want to bring to you a comforting message entitled, Teach Me How to Die. Teach me how to die. A pastor once went to see his parishioner in a hospital. The parishioner was struggling with cancer. And the pastor didn't know how much cancer had ravaged the life of this parishioner. So he went to the reception and he was ushered to the world where he was where she was and when he reached there he could not identify the lady because the lady the pastor knew was completely different from the lady that the pastor met because cancer had eaten up her flesh had eaten up her bones and all the vitalities of life and from the sunken eyes, she looked at the pastor and told the pastor in a very soft voice, Pastor,
Teach me how to die. I know how to live, but I don't know how to die. So, Pastor, please teach me how to die. And dear mourners, I know people in this world know how to live, but they don't know how to die. And dying is the last thing that determines your destiny. When Jesus Christ comes a second time, as we sang, calling the roll up yonder, and we say it, I will be there. Those who will be there are only those who know how to die and not just how to live. So this lady asked a very surprising question. And veromonas, diamonas, parishioners can ask pastors very difficult questions. There, the pastor admitted, my dear parishioner, I'm sorry. I also don't know how, to, how people die. You have given me what to teach, what to, what, what to say. However, I know one who taught us how to die, and that is Jesus Christ. And this morning, your fellow and fellow mourners of all walks of life, from the economic sector, from the political sector, from the social sector, from the religious sector, I want to take these few minutes to teach you how to die, for that is the only thing that determines your destiny when Jesus Christ comes. From the, from the book John 5, verse 28, we read these words, Do not marvel at this. And Jesus was talking about death, about people who sleep before he comes a second time. He told the mourners, do not marvel at this. It is not the sleeping of people that matters more than how they sleep. Or to use the most common word, it is not people uh, who die when we come to business as how they die. So following the request of the lady, I want to tell you that knowing how to die, and that is why I'm asking you to listen very attentively. Even as we participate here, you discover how to die. And when you go home, if you have not started to prepare how to die, then from today on, you begin to prepare. Then it says, do not marvel at this, for the hour is coming when those who have died in the grave will, will hear his voice and come out. But he says they will be put in two groups. And the two groups stand for those who knew how to die and those who knew how to live only and did not know how to die. For those who knew how to die, they will be in the class, they said, some to everlasting life. And those who did not know how to die, those will be to everlasting damnation or everlasting fire. So this time, I want to tell you, is very important. Before I come to tell you how to die, because all of us will die one day, if Jesus would have not come a second time, it is important to know how to die. Let me take you to the Old Testament and teach you and tell you rather uh, how one person did not know how to die. A king went to a funeral like our uh, ranking officers in the government, like the president went to a funeral of his army general. The king was King David, and the general was Abner. Abner was a general in the 
David's king, mini army. King David's king army. Abina had killed somebody accidentally. And he knew that in the economy of Israel, he was supposed to have run to specified places. And the specified places in the Bible were called cities of refuge. Cities of refuge were built for people who killed others accidentally to run to and hide from the wrath and revenge of the family members of the person killed accidentally. So Abna killed a person accidentally, but because he trusted in his army prowess, because he trusted in his arms, because he trusted in his uh, ammunitions, he chose not to go to the place of refuge and walked outside openly. And one day, the revenging family member found Abner and killed him. So it was funeral day, like today, when we are burying His Excellency John Yagarama. So the King David came to console the family, to mourn for his, uh, uh, his uh, general who had fallen because he lived there. And this is what he did. In the book of first, Second Samuel, the book of Second Samuel, chapter 3, this is what the... the Tunajua mama Yesu jo alikuwa ni Maria ni, ni, ni Maria Virgin Mary yani alikuwa mtu waenda ye kwa ukamilifu sana pia kutenda haki asiye sema uko mwenye moyo mweupe mwenye mawazi safi ni mtu waenda ye kwa ukamilifu sana pia kutenda haki asiye sema uko
Into your hands I commit my spirit. Having said this, he breathed his last. Says, and when Jesus cried out and uh, with a loud voice and said, Father, into your hands I commit my spirit. I commit my life. And so the pastor said, the safest way to die is to die in the hands of Jesus Christ, our Savior. It is to die in the hands of Jesus Christ, our Redeemer. You make sure that a wise dying, a wise death, the death that can be rec recorded in the book of life in heaven, is the death of a person who has taken time to surrender his or her life to the hands of Jesus Christ. Otherwise, we can do all we can in this world. We can amass wealth in this world, and that's not bad. We can gain titles in this world, and that's not bad. That's why God gave us gifts. We can... Uh, 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 get several things, expose our, ourselves, travel all over the world, third class, first class, or economic class, whatever it is, we can over the world the best we can, telling them how to live, but if you have not surrendered your life to the hands of Jesus Christ, when you die, it will be recorded in heaven as a foolish death. If God had to come to a funeral, like Jesus came to the funeral of Lazarus, he would have said, should John, should David, should Kezia have died like a fool? Why? Because you would not take time in the busy life. You moved from stage, one stage of life to another. You moved from childhood to teenagehood. You moved from teenagehood to youthhood. You moved from youthhood to adulthood, then to old life, and you died before committing your life into the hands of Jesus Christ. And when you die, such are the ones who are put in the category of Abna, where mourners can say, this person has died like a fool. Elsewhere, a king died, and he said, he died like a donkey. Why? Because a donkey does not have the mind to make decisions, does not have time to, to, to read the Bible, does not have the mind to uh, make a decision. And that is why the Bible says he died like a donkey. That's why David cries in the funeral of Abner and says he died like a fool. And dear mourners, as you have come to the morning of this hero that we have read in his obituary, do not go back. And if you have got to die tomorrow or next year or 10 years or 20 years to come, you die like a fool. You die like Jesus Christ. When Jesus Christ was about to die, he said, into your hand, Lord, I commit my life. Take care of my life. The life hid in Jesus Christ is the only one which, when Jesus Christ comes, 
Whether that person has died or is living, that is the life that will make sense. That is the life that will uh, see the king coming a second time and make a statement and uh, sing a song. The song that the saints will sing that day is only one who has known how to die. And I've told you how to die is make sure that as you move on from one stage of life to another, you make provision for a decision to accept Jesus Christ. And commit your life to his hands. Even as you go around your economic life, as you go about your political life, as you go about your, your, your religious life, you make sure that my, my life is hid in Jesus Christ. Otherwise, when you die, however rich you are, however known you are, however famous you are, if you die outside Jesus Christ, you die like a fool. And when Jesus Christ comes, you will not be among those who will look up and say these words I'm reading from Isaiah 5 and verse 9. Those who have taken time to know how to die, when Jesus Christ comes, whether they are in the graves or they are living, they will all be resurrected. And those who knew how to die will come together millions and millions because the Bible says our, our computing system will not have there. Then it says there will be myriads and myriads. Myriad is beyond, I don't know how many times, beyond billions. So they will come and stand and say these words recorded in Isaiah 25 and verse 9. And it says, And it will be said in that day, Behold, this is our God. We have waited for him, and he will save us. This is the Lord. We have waited for him. We, uh, we will be glad and rejoice in his salvation. Only those who have learned how to die before they die, and I'm making that statement, those who have learned how to die before you die, what I'm saying that is you do not learn to die at that point. You learn before you die. You learn before your time comes. When we are living here, moving and doing whatever God has given us for our living here, as we contribute to society and to the government and to the church, this is the time to make sure that we have learned how to die. We have committed our life to the hands of Jesus Christ. And so he told that lady, I don't know how long you'll take, but if now you commit your life fully to the hands of Jesus Christ, then you know how to die. Then your question is answered. Then she said, Pastor, pray for me. I put my, my life in the hands of Jesus Christ. And when the pastor prayed and said amen, the lady closed her eyes and died. And the pastor was happy that I have taught this lady how to die. And she did exactly that before she died. And the pastor like all pastors and religious leaders are very happy when everybody says, Pastor, I want to surrender my life to the hands of Jesus Christ. Even if I die tomorrow or a few hours from now or next year or years to come, I have confidence. There's one man, there's one man recorded in the Bible in uh, the book of Luke chapter 1 and that man was Simon from verse 24 on he just was in the temple serving the Lord contributing to the religious life so the children uh, the parents of Jesus Christ came in 
and brought Jesus Christ for dedication. And they handed over the child Jesus Christ to this old man, Simon. And the Bible tells us, when Simon received Jesus Christ in his hands, he spoke these words, Now, sovereign, sovereign Lord, you can allow me to die, for my eyes have seen the salvation of God that was promised to our ancestors by the prophets of old. He said, Now, I am okay. Even if I die, I don't complain. No. Simon, having done the last bit that matters most, the critical uh, section of our life, that of receiving Jesus Christ and having him in your life, you can confidently say with Simon, now I can die in peace for my eyes have seen the salvation of the Lord. And the family members, I want to implore with you, if there is anybody who has not surrendered his or her life there, may today's service be a commitment time. When you say to your hands, oh dear Lord Jesus Christ, I commit my life. If the extended family of Nyamira County and all counties and those people who are seated in this big auditorium has not surrendered his or her life to Jesus Christ, even those of you who are watching us all over Kenya virtually and all over the world, my commitment, I mean my plea to you as a pastor who is, organized, I mean who is uh, presiding over this service, I'll tell you, brother, sister, know how to die. And the way to die is to commit your life to the hands of Jesus Christ. So that as you do life, as you go around life, whether you are healthy or sick, you have no problem. Whether you are serving the government from the economic sector, or from the political sector, or from the social sector, or from the religious sector, you can walk and rest assured that my life is in the hands of uh, Jesus Christ. And uh, all who have lost uh, His Excellency John Nyagarama, whether a friend, a relative, a colleague, let us have our time today and say, I surrender to my, li my life to Jesus Christ so that we can have that. And then I want to ask for that commitment. Then we shall sing a song and commit the family to the hands of God. Let me ask those who are here and wherever you are, how many are saying today's service is a commitment service for my life. I choose to know how to die and commit my life in the hands of God. Let me see your hands. May God bless you in Jesus' name. Now turn to page 30 of the booklet. And I would want us to sing that song. Then Dr. Nyakundi will just put the, the, the family in the hands of God. The Seventh-day Adventist Church, where uh, His Excellency was a member, does not run a service on behalf of the dead. No, we offer a service for those who are living. Because our Bible teaches us very clearly in Ecclesiastes 5 verse 9. That is why we do not have a service for the dead. And today's service is not for John Nyagarama. It is for those who are living. The Bible says, For the living, no, they will die but the dead know nothing. That is why the church offers service for the living, not for the dead. And that is why we, our focus is on the living of the, uh, the, the late John Yangarama. So number, that is uh, 
when you know that you have surrendered your life to Jesus Christ, you can say with the songwriter, it is well with my soul. And I want us to sing that one and sing it loud. Then we shall commit the family members before we continue with the service. When peace like a river attended my way, when sorrows like billows roll, whatever my Lord thou art so me to say, it is well, it is well with my soul, it is well with my soul, oh, it is well, it is well with my soul, my sin, all oh, the joy of this glorious song, my sin, not in part, but the whole is now the cross and I bear it no more praise the Lord praise the Lord oh my soul it is well with my soul oh it is well, it is well with my soul, and Lord is that day when my faith shall be sight, the cloud be rolled back as a scroll. The drum shall resound and the Lord shall descend. Even so, it is well with my soul. It is well with my soul. Oh, it is well, it is well with my soul. May God bless you if you have learned how to die, before you die. Dr. Nyakunde, please come and put your... May I ask the immediate and extended family members, please to stand. Would have called you to the front, but because of COVID-19, we can't do so. This center is this. And when the prayer is done, then uh, His Excellency James Ngwai will come and take over. Let's bow as we pray. Our God and our Lord, we thank you that there is a time and season for every activity on earth. There is a time to be born and there is a time to die. One of the greatest and saddest days in the life of humankind. Today we have assembled here the entire nation to mourn our departed leader, His Excellency John Obieru Nyagarama. Lord, we thank you that you have given him time to serve this nation. 
you had given him time to serve his family and you had given him time to serve you now it is a moment of darkest part of it that from a few days ago he has departed from us now in a very specific and particular way we want to commit this family he has left behind led by Mungna Naum unto thy hands that you bless them you protect them you lead them and as we are in this life each one may decide to die the wise death Lord we thank you that you will give them strength and you give them power and you give them hope for thy soon advent all these friends have come to mourn with them and to pray for them and to give them encouragement and to give them all that they need in this time of a lot of sorrowfulness in their souls we thank you for the government for the role that it has played to ensure that our leader is laid to rest waiting for the soon advent of our Lord Jesus we thank you for the friends and we thank you for the count of Nyamira of which made him a leader in this nation now Lord, we request that as thy soon advent appears, let none of his offspring miss the kingdom. As the Bible said, there is that great day when Isaiah and Job and the rest of the believers will proclaim when they see the advent of our Lord Jesus descending from the skies that this is the Savior and the Lord that we have been waiting for glory and honor unto God for that great day now we thank you once again that you lead them and you help them in all ways all leaders are with us May you lead us again as they comfort this family, as they say encouragement words, as each one prepare for the soon advent of our Lord Jesus Christ. We thank you that each one of us to die a wise death. That when the Lord calls, when the Lord calls, each one will say lord it is you that i have been holding on for in the grave blessed be thy name as you leave this family and all other families of our believed ones lord we commit them unto thy hands blessed be thy name from now forever and ever in jesus name we pray amen God bless you. Uh, thank you very much, Pastor. And I, I listened to you very keenly. I'm hoping that everybody who is here listened to our pastor very keenly. And that uh, knowing that we are transitory in this world, that you will prepare for the, that, that great day. Because for my brother John Nyagarama, this is his great day. He had his great day when he came to this world. And this is his final day. Mama Naomi Nyagarama and your children 
Excellency Prime Minister Raila Molo Dinga, our CS, Dr. Fred Matiangi, the senators who are here, the, assist, the deputy governors who are here, led by my deputy, Joash Mahangi, and you are going to be introduced later. The members of parliament, senators, ladies and gentlemen. Uh, we now move to another level. I would want to ask, uh, I do not know, we wanted to have some entertainment, minor entertainment. John was a man, was a nice man, smiling man. The Orare no Morembe group or the Avanya Congo team. I don't know if you are ready. If you are not ready, please prepare yourselves. I'll give you some time as I ask one or two people to talk to us. Then you can come in after that before I hand over to my brother, Senator Okongo Mogeni. As is our custom, I'm now going to ask two leaders, two elders of Kisi Abagusi to talk to us. The first one is a former member of parliament, Benson Kegoro, who is also a relative of uh, Honorable Nyagarama, Excellency Nyagarama. Mze Kegoro, if you are around, I want you to come. And as you are coming, Uh, C.S., you know you came in. C.S. Eugene Wamalwa is also in here. C.S. had not seen you. I sincerely apologize. Uh, and I don't know, I think I'm also growing old. Our Chief Justice and also actually a relative of, uh, of Nyagarama is also in the room. Chief Justice, Your Lordship, I also sincerely apologize. Mze uh, Kegoro, I would ask also Mze James Matundura, if you are around, please. And we want to make this very, very quick. If you can also come and wait here so that you can talk after that. While that group that was coming to talk to us, to, to sing to us, if they can also start preparing. I sincerely apologize, Chief Justice and Eugene Wamalo, sincerely. Asante sana, mwishimiwa wetu Governor James Ongwae. Asante sana kwa nafasi ili ni mwililie kiongozi wetu mwana wetu mwana wangu obiero nyagarama your excellency imeona kiongozi wetu rairo dinga ameingia hapa na miandamana na watu wote wa serikali ya Kenya kutoka serikali kuu mpaka serikali za za chini za counties kwa majina mimi naitwa Benson Kegoro Ogero mimi ni mmoja wa elders wa kisi hapa kama mtu ambaye alikuwa mmoja wa wajumbe wakati wa enzi za msee jomo kenyata wakati ule tulianza kasi 1963 kulikuwa na majimbo na majimbo mimi nilijaguliwa kama katika jimbo la nyanza na katika ile majimbo tulikuwa na kiongozi wetu mkubwa mbangawa tulikuwa na president mzee baba wa raila jaramogi ogingo dinga 
ndiye alikuwa waziri wetu sisi si, tukiwa katika majimbo ilikuwa majimbo nane na Nairobi ikiwa extra provincial uh, region tulifanya kasi nao viongozi wakati ule na baadaye mimi nikachaguliwa tena kwenda member, kuwa member of parliament wa West Mugirango baada ya kifo cha late Murara tulikawanya North Mugirango ile ya zamani ikawa eh, ma, 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 ikawa uh, constituency mbili North Mugirango ikabaki na tukawa na West Mugirango basi Murara ndiye alikuwa mjumbe wa, wa kwanza wa West Mugirango baada ya kifo chake kule cha Vakali mimi nikawa mjumbe ambaye alichukua mahali pake in 1970 nikaenda parliament vile vile nikafanya chini ya mzee ya uh, wetu Jomo Kenyatta nilikuwa mjumbe wakati wake ndio kusema wale ambao mmekuwa wajumbe sasa sisi vile vile tumekuwa wajumbe wakati huo Na wakati huo tulikuwa wajumbe ambao hatukuwa tukitumia pesa watu walitupenda sana. Hakuko wako na hii mambo yanaitwa corruption. Tulikuwa na serikali nzuri, viongozi wazuri na watu walitupenda. Nyagarama sasa ambaye tumekuja kumulilia. Wakati wa 1970 nilipokuchaliwa kuchaguliwa kabai election ya Murara. Alikuwa mpiga kura wangu baadaye tukao na ganya gharama akiwa mju, akiwa mwalimu baadaye tukachaguliwa na nyagarama 1994 akawa board member wa KTDA na mimi nikabaki kuwa director wa Nyansengo Tea Factory kwa miaka michache sasa nimekuja hapa kulia na kutoa rambirambi zangu kwa jamii ya Nyagarama ameacha mama Naumi ambaye ni mtoto wangu ameacha wajukuu na watoto watoto wengine wa Nyagarama wako ngambo wanasoma mimi ningeomba kwamba yule ambaye atachukua ushukani wa Nyagarama bwana Amos uendelee kufanya kazi na watu wa Nyagarama vile vile ningeomba uh, CS wetu bwana Matiangi ambaye amefanya kazi mzuri sana aungane na president wetu ambaye mlifanya kazi mzuri kwa sababu hawa watu hawawezi kuuliza au kusoma kutoa mapendekezo hao kwa wakati huo ningeuliza CS Matiangi baada ya hao watu kulia upate nafasi uweke watu wa nyagarama tayari wakwambie matakwa yao ili kwamba ili kwamba ukienda kwa president umwambie matakwa ya watu wa Nyagarama ni hawa ni haya nikimaliza wacha nitoe mifano miwili mfano mmoja ni wa watu wa Jaramogi Jaramogi alipoaga dunia kama watoto wake walikuwa wabaya raila hawa wangeweza kupata kura Wangeambiwa kwenda tatua mi, kwenda tatua mikokoro yenu kwanza kule kabla hujaja kwa kuchukua kutafuta kura. Vile vile wakati wa uhuru Kenyatta kama Kenyatta aliyekuwa kama walikuwa na mikokoro nyumbani waliambiwa hatukupati hatukupati kura kwenda tatua mikokoro yenu kwanza nyumbani. Na tunataka hivyo hivyo watoto wa Nyagarama waendelee kuishi walindwe na wakati mmoja unaweza kana mmoja wao anaweza kuwa kiongozi na mulilia huyu great man apole sana CS wetu Matiang CS wetu Matiang pamoja na Solsa General na wale wengine wa wenzetu MPs wetu kaba na wetu watu wetu wa viongozi wote na watolea shukrani kubwa kabisa kwa mambo ambayo mlifanya mkafanya hii masishi kwa state for funeral ni mtuzaisia sana mlifanya kazi mzuri thank you very much uh, mzee Raila nimekuona kwa mamba yale ya BBI wewe sisi si, tuko pamoja na wewe
understand. Uh, Your Excellency, the former Prime Minister, C.S. Wetu, governors mbaya wamekuja kutoka sehemu mbalimbali za Kenya na viongozi mbalimbali ambaye wamehudhuria mazizi haya ya maana sana huyu anaongea ni James Matundura Araka mimi ni chairman wa Avagusi Elders Council lakini registration yetu iko Avagusi Cultural and Development Council sasa niko na mawili tatu tu peke yake kwanza nilitaka kuujuliza watu geni na watu yetu ya kwamba nimefaa hivi bila mnaniona to symbolize ya kwamba kusika mtu is a cultural event na chama chetu walisema ni onyeze heshima ya elders council ya wusi mzima kwa kufaa hivi kwa niaba yao kiti ya pili huyu mzee governor wetu alikuwa ni memba ya council yetu kwa hivyo council ya wusi imesikitika kabisa kumpoteza mmoja wetu ambaye ni elder na vile vile yeye alikuwa tabia yake wengi wengi wetu atunge atunge iwesa kwa sababu hata ukitaka kuchesa na yeye hata ukitaka kufuruga yeye alikuwa anacheka lakini nafikiri sio kucheka ile ya ra labda alikuwa anakuchekerea sasa uchuyu unasema nini aliendelea hivyo hivyo alikuwa anatuhimiza mambo mengi kwa hiyo tumepoteza huyu na tunasikitika sana kwa haya kumalizia kwa sababu wengi, wengi wetu wako hapa na watatuhimiza kidogo tumekuja kwa mambo mawili namba moja tumekuja kufanya prayers sire pastor Samuel amefanya ya pili ni kuombereza jamii kuwapa pole na siji kama nitakosea kuambia wenzetu ya kwamba tavatari kwa utamatuni wetu wa wakisi tukija kufanya masisi kama haya hatutaki kuchanganya ruga tunakuja tunaerekesa mambo yetu yote kwa yule ameaga na wakati huu nataka kushukuru our members of parliament busi mzima tangu huyu muse ave hawajachanganya ruga yao wanasema ile ya nyagarama tu weka fristo na hiyo tunawapongeza sana na kama itakuwa kana tuendelee hivyo itakuwa heshima kwa msenya gharama itakuwa heshima kwa jamii ya nyagarama itakuwa heshima kwa relatives wa nyagarama na elders council ya gusi hiyo tutafurahisha hatutakufanyia lolote lakini hatutafurahia kuenda kando na hiyo na ndiyo sababu tuliona tuseme hiyo alafu tuende pamoja na ile mzee pension kegora alisema nataka mwambia CS wetu tafadhali ujikue salamu ya abagusi wote including elders council yale alitufanyia kwa huyu mzee huko Nairobi tunashukuru na tunashukuru kwa hivyo ujikue salamu yetu tuambie tulisikia vile alisema na tuli, tumejua vile alifanya na kwa hayo yote tunatoa shukrani yetu kwa moyo wetu wote asante sana kwa kunisikiza Uh, thank you very much, um, Mzee Matundura. You know that we are all members, myself, uh, Nyagarama, and all of us, uh, leaders, uh, Matiangi, and all of us, we know. Thank you very much. I kindly, before the group inter that, uh, sings for us, would want to indicate to you that again we have our chair of the Council of Governors, uh, Dr. Wycliffe Ambesa Oparanya. The governors who are here, I'm going to introduce you, you'll be introduced at the right time. And the deputy governors, you'll also be introduced at the right time. 
so that at that time then we'll decide uh, whether you are all talking because this, this was your colleague or one of two of you will talk for you. We also have uh, our PSE, our PSS here. We have Susan Mochache. Susan, if you are in the room. Uh, we also have our peers, Marwa. Marwa, I suspect you are in the room. And we have our Solicitor General for this country, Ken Ogeto, is also in the room. Uh, can I now ask the choir to please uh, sing for us? Uh, Pole, we also have our CEO for the Council of Governors, Jackie Mogeni, who has done tremendous work. Jackie is in the room, Jackie Mogeni. Jacqueline Mogeni. For those of you for those of you who don't know, she's also the wife of our good senator Fonyamira. Oh, my God. 
Uh, thank you very much, Abanyangongo Choir. That was real great. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, I now want to invite my brother, Senator Okongo Mogeni, to take over from here and uh, ensure that the, we hear what the people in Yamira are saying about our departed brother. Thank you very much. Uh, thank you very much, Governor, uh, Your Excellencies, uh, uh, Prime Minister Raila Odinga, my Lord uh, Chief Justice, uh, CSS President, led by uh, Dr. Matiangi, and uh, Wamalwa, the Chair of Council of Governors, Oparanya, and the other governors present, our Deputy Governor, uh, Amos Inyaribo, all our members of Parliament, uh, present, uh, Senate and the National Assembly. Speakers who are present, led by our Speaker Mofa Teya. Members of County Assemblies uh, from Yamira, our CECs, uh, family of the late. Uh, we now want to move this program uh, to the next level where we want to introduce to the mourners the family of uh, the late Mze John Obiero uh, Nyagarama. So I know uh, that this is a difficult time for you, uh, family, uh, Mama Naomi, my sister Emily, and your brothers. But I kindly want to request that you gather some strength. You, uh, Mama Naomi, and your brothers, maybe you just move to the front. I know COVID uh, has some restrictions, but maybe I will ask the, the widow and the children of uh, the late Mze, led by uh, our now firstborn Emily, just to move to the front so that uh, you can introduce all the family members to the mourners. Uh, thank you very much, Emily. You can move to the front with your brothers maybe in that order from the eldest to the last born. And uh, if uh, Mama Naomi can also gather some strength, maybe she can also stand, but if you are too weak, you can remain seated. Mama Naomi, if you are able to stand, if not, we will allow you to, to remain uh, sit, seated. Uh, Emily, I've always known you as a strong woman. And I want to you know, encourage you to be strong. 
so that you can take this chance to introduce to the mourners uh, all your uh, siblings. May I hand over to, to you and now to introduce to the mourners your family members. Emily, please. I think you can, maybe you can stand uh, somewhere here. They'll give you the mic. You, you can move forward and then face the congregation, uh -huh. face the, the mourners. Thank you, thank you. Uh, so please, may we have the microphone for Emily? Microphone, please. Thank you, thank you, Emily. <coughs> thank you so very much for this opportunity. Senator, thank you so much. Vanasias, uh, Raila Odinga, and all the dignitaries here. It's indeed a very sad moment for our family. Actually, words, we can't gather words to express the sorrow that we have. To everyone here, Karibuni Sana, and we thank you so very much for coming. Hello. We know the work that you have done to send off your colleague, the national government, the county government, family and friends. There's nothing that we can talk. We thank you so very much. Mine is very simple. Mze was a very good man. Anyone who knew my father knew that he was a very good person. Indeed, we don't have to overemphasize on that. So he has left. Please keep praying for us. I have a very small role that Senator has given me to introduce the family. I start with Do to Mze. Salimie Tafatali. Her name is Naomi Ikonge. Tafatali, wave to the crowd. You want to say something? All right. Next, I start with my big brother, Kefa Nyagarama. Wave to the crowd. With the wife, Lynette. And are your children here? Some? Okay. That's fine, but they're not here right now. Yeah, next is Momani. Momani, where is your wife? Edna? Yeah, just wave to the crowd. That's another member of our family. She's not able to come here. Next was Mary. Oh, Mary stepped out, but she's coming. Next is Eric. Eric, where is your wife? There, and they also have children, grandchildren now, Tumze. Next is my brother, Isaiah, but he's not here. He's in the U.S. He didn't make it. Next, eh, Mzee Alikwa. Where is Sam? Step forward. So, that is Sam in Yagarama. Where is your wife? The wife is Mkanza, imported from Uganda. <laughs> Next is my last born brother, Tom. Tom, uh, Dr. Tom just came uh, from India. He's not yet married, so. <laughs> we have our other sisters also and brothers. Um, the first one is Lydia. Lydia, where are you? Wave. Thank you so much. Buenos uh, Aires, those were the girls who were struggling to bring. Yeah, next is Ruth. Wave to the crowd. 
Next is Victor. Wave to the crowd. And the last one is Sami. Wave to the crowd. I don't know where my sister Mary is. She's there. She's just coming. So as she comes in with her husband, um, I want to take this special opportunity to also introduce my husband, Duke Matoke. We also are blessed with many children. Mukwapi. Wave, 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 wave. Yeah, so many. Thank you. Next. <laughs> it's my sister Mary. Just come to the front. I'm the husband. That is the last born of Mama Sigara. Uh, my dad used to call her Kantore because she was a bit rude. Uh, I think now. Band. Engineer Josh. And the daughter, Chantal. How are you? So thank you so very much. This is a large Manyagarama family. Um, maybe I just hand over the mic to one of my brothers to actually thank you. Thank you so very much. We are humbled as a family. My father will continue and we shall see that his works are finished. I know you are with us. We pray with you. You are praying for us. Thank you so much. May our dad truly, truly, the giant, rest in eternal peace. Thank you so very much. I hand over shortly to my brother, big brother, Kebaso, to just finish this. Thank you so very much. Uh, Emily, thank you. Thank you very much for introducing to us the family. Um, if you permit me, I'll request uh, your brother Tom uh, to read the eulogy to, to the monas. Tom, please. And uh, if it's too long, you can be assisted by Lydia. Thank you. Uh, the rest of you can remain seated. Thank you. Thank you for being strong, Emily. Sante sana. So, Tom, please. take this uh, moment uh, for it being an unfortunate moment uh, I thank the national government for helping us with everything that you've done for us we really appreciate uh, His Excellency Maria Molodinga and all protocol observed our CJ and everyone I'm sorry if I'm a bit shaky because this is a big one Sometimes I cannot help myself, but each and every one of you, you should know that I honestly recognize and acknowledge everything that you've done for us. So thank you very much. Uh, before I read this, I'd say one statement. Uh, my dad has brought us up to know that, and we have seen it firsthand, that everything is possible. He has shown us that despite how difficult life is, despite how many times you can fall down, you can always stand up. Everyone has anyone to look up to. So as for me, individually, I say it is a big hit. And honestly, I look up to my dad. So I'm going to read the eulogy. Um, the late governor, John Obiro Nyagarama, was born to the late Dismas Apoko Mumanyi and the late Catherine Kemunto in a metrical village. In Siamani sublocation, 
West Mugrango constituency, Yamira County, in, in, the, in the year 1946. He got married to the late Dorica Sigara in 1971, and they were blessed with 10 children, namely the late Catherine Kemunto, late George Indemo, Dr. Emily Kwamboka, Kefa Kebaso, Gideon Momanyi, Maria Kerubo, Eric Geke, Isaiah Nyaporo, Samuel Obiero, and Dr. Tom Umboga. He was the father-in-law to Duke, Lynette, Edna, Engineer Maragia, Edna, and Fazira. He was a grandfather to 24. Later on, he married Naomi Obutu in the year 2007. Together they raised four children, that is Ruth Mora, Lydia Barongo, Victor Obiero, and Samuel Abuga. He was a loving, he was a loving brother to the late Paul Movegi, Samuel, Mo, Samuel Mogaka, Elias Onyancha, Joseph Mayuya, Sebastian Magabi, Zachary Ongera, Maisera Nyaboke, the late Melan Ondieki, the late Celine Bosbori, and the late Anne Nyanduko. His sisters-in-law were Francisca Nyakerario, Mary Nyeri Nyaboe, Grace Onyancha, the late Jerusha Nyaboke, Paris Magabi, Susan Magabi, and Jane Ongera. His uncles were the late Nyambane, Nyambande, the late Keburi, the late Omboga, Ondom Nyagarama, the late Matara, late Okumo, late Maiko, Nyakundi, Auka, among others. His aunties were Kemuma, Monica, Grace, late Bitutu, late Makarita, late Nyakambi, late Nyasicho, late Teresia, among others. He was an uncle to the Mobegis, Mogakas, Onyanchas, Mayuyas, Magabis, Ongeras, Marcellas, Selinas, Melens, Nyanduko, Ombogas, Nyachais, Ndemos, among others. His cousins were Mary, Helen, Duke, Mocheche, Momanyi, William, Onyari, Arisi, Sosi, Awata, Late Guku, William Nyambane, among others. He was an uncle to the Mubegis, Mogakas, Onyanchas, Mayuyas, Magabis, Ongeras, Marcellas, Ondieki, Bosiboris, and Nyandukos, among others. He was a son-in-law to the late Ndemo Kebagendi, the late Penina Mora, Zakaria Obutu, and the late Priscilla Wasibori, late Mama Jerusha Kerebi, and Teresa Kwamboka. He was a brother-in-law to the late Daudi Onyancha, Professor Ndemo, Salim, Professor Vitang Ndemo, Moses, Tom, Nyobendo, Rose, and Director Kiage, among others. He was a, he was a Semo to Simeon Yachai, Onchoke, Onsongo, Samson Ariaga, Tumbo, Tumbo, Ombuoga, and Moses, among others. Ekorera, that is uh, uh, in law, Ekorera to Rachel Ombuki and the late Francis Ombuki. Mr. and Mrs. Mainye, the late Nyarinda and John Johnson Isaboke, Mary and Patrick Ongwai, late Thomas Oyaro, and Alice Thomas, Rachel and Charles Maragia, Monica and Zakaria Ongaga, and engineer Ayub Suma, Harriet Suma, and Lihong Wung, that is Uganda. Lastly, I'm going to read on the education and professional of his career. He was born in a very humble background. The departed governor walked bare feet to school at Nyakemincha Primary School, located in West Mugrango constituency. After his CPE, that is Certificate of Primary Education, he joined Maseno School for his O-Levels. He did, he did his A-Levels at Kisi School, and thereafter joined the University of Nairobi, from where he graduated with a degree in, in, in Education, English Literature, in the year 1975. After his university, after his university education, Honorable Nyagrama was employed as a secondary school teacher. As a secondary school teacher, he taught in several schools among the Munduru boys, that is from the year 1975 to 76, Nyansiongo High School 1977 to 78, and Menyenya High School from the year 1978 to 1981. He was among the pioneer teaching staff of Menyenya High School. 
After just six years of teaching, he joined the teacher, the tea sector through Kenya Tea Development Authority in the year 1982 as a management trainee from where he rose through the ranks to managerial positions working in various tea factories and finally as one of the, of the directors in KTDA. He was among the team which oversaw the transition of the KTDA from a government institution to a private company registered under the Companies Act. From 1991 to 1992, he worked as a senior manager at Sotik Tea Company Limited, a multinational tea company from where he joined the Touchline Press Limited, a private publishing company, as its managing director. In the year 1993, Honoria Bonyagama established private business in tea export in Mombasa. A year later, tea farmers elected him as a director to the KTDA board to represent Zone 10 a region which covers parts of Nyamira County and Marani in Kisi County. While in the tea sector, he served as the chairman of Kenya Tea Packers Limited, Ketepa, from 1996 to 2002. He was among the founders and served as the chairman of Chai Trading Company from the year 2002 to 2013. Honoria Binyagrama was among the most senior and recognizable men in the tea sector in the country where he served as a national director in the KTDA board since 1994 until he was elected as the first governor of Nyamira County in the year 2013 in the general election. The, producing, the, producing, uh, the preceding uh, eulogy will be read by Lydia. Distinguished guests, ladies and gentlemen, as yet another opportunity I'm here to take you through the political and social life of my lovely, amazing, and precious daddy. Uh, Governor Nyagaramo joined the war of politics in 2002 when Ivar failed to clinch the seat of West Mungurangu MP. He made a return to politics in 2013 when he was elected as the first governor of Namira County on Orange Democratic Movement ticket. On August 8, 2017, he was re-elected for another five-year term on the same party ticket and served in the same capacity to his demise. The late governor was an all-round man. He was an astute farmer with over 20 acres of tea, among the largest for the private tea farmers in Guzi region, several horse of cattle and vast banana plantations. Also, as an entrepreneur, he owned several businesses and enterprises, including the Dorcas Cigarro Memorial Boarding School, which is one of the largest academies in Yamira County. Other than his personal businesses, he served as a board member of various schools, among them Keberega, Kenyanya, Seronga, Menyanya, and Menyanya Second Schools. He was a lover of classical literature, who read widely and fondly quoted Shakespearean was in conversations. He was a church goer and loved religious songs. At the national level, the governor was involved in peace building and conflict resolution. He was among the other supporters of cause for unity is between his excellence, Uhuru Kenyatta, and ODM party leader, the right honorable Raila Odinga. At the Council of Governors, Governor Nyagarama was regarded as the father to the governors. He was always called upon to offer prayers during the council meetings. Proceeding to the sickness of a beloved hero who loved to smile and love. After presiding over an official function on 27 November 2020, Mzee fell and war. On 28 November, he traveled to Nairobi to seek medical attention. The diagnosis at Nairobi Hospital showed that he had contracted the novel coronavirus. He was thereafter hospitalized for two weeks after which he recovered and tested COVID-19 free. Subsequently, Mze was discharged from the COVID-19 center and proceeded to recuperate at the normal hospital wards. For the next three days, 
a free interacted with his family and friends before developing severe complications that resulted in a cardiac arrest that led to his death on 18th December 2020 at 4.30 a.m. Death is snatched from us a smiling governor. May God rest his soul in eternal peace. And to daddy, we love you so much. And we can't express how much you meant to us. And mommy, remember this. Be strong and of good courage. You got this and you can do it. God bless you. God bless Kenya. Uh, thank you very much, the, the children of our departed Mze, uh, Governor John Yagarama. Finally, to close this sector, I will now uh, ask Kefa Kevaso to give a small tribute to Mze on behalf of all the children of uh, the late Mze Nyagarama. Kefa, please. Before I do, I have one thing that I want to say that I know you loved me and I loved you too. Oh, you well. This is what you used to tell me. Yeah, Konga, be strong. I'll be strong for you, Dad. I know the shoe that you've left me. As your elder son, it's far too big and too hot. But I'll soldier on until it fits and it cools. Now, this is what the family had to say. We thank God for the years we spent together. The unconditional love who showed us was special, and we will forever hold, hold it in our hearts. Your greatest sense of humor will always linger in our memories. Everyone would agree with me that he had nicknames for all of us, including our Naomi. He called me Opio. So I don't know what it really means, but I accepted it. I called him my eldest sister, Mukwe. I also don't know what, what it means, but she accepted it. Kantori, as you had, Okudo, and several. <coughs> Interestingly, she had the nickname, he had the nickname for himself. He called himself Sibori Manga. Simbambe, a tough one. It means, literally it means, a tough lion. Tata, if your life was a song, you could touch the songs, because you are very generous. The little, the little you got, we shared with everyone. Having lost our mom at a tender age, we did not leave us. Instead, we stepped in and took over. He taught us to always wake up early, honest, hard work, gentility, and above all, love. Thank you, Dad, and go you well. Thank you. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Kefa. 
I didn't know that your dad was Sibur Manga. Maybe when uh, His Excellency Raila stands to speak, he can tell us what is Sibur Manga from our neighbors. Now, um, thank you, uh, members of the family. You have done very well. And thank you for being strong. I think that's how your dad was. And I want to assure the church, we all knew Mze was a very strong uh, Christian. So as the pastor said, if you die outside Jesus Christ, you die like a fool. Uh, I want to say confident that most of us who interacted with Nyagarama, he died inside Jesus Christ. Now I want to move this level to the next level. And uh, we now want to test whether our speaker, Moffat Tea, knows the names of all his uh, members of county assembly. So I want to ask uh, our speaker, Honorable Moffat Tea, to come to the front and uh, introduce to the monarchs members of uh, county assembly. I'm told a good speaker must know members of his uh, parliament by name. Karibu speaker. Thank you so much, uh, Senator, the first first lady, Mama Naomi Nyagarama, and your children, starting from Emily all the way to Tom, the Right Honorable Your Excellency Raila Mondo Odinga, the Chief Justice and the President of the Supreme Court, our brother David Maraga, the CS. Ministry of Interior and National Coordination, Dr. Fred Matiangi, and your colleague, CS Eugene Wamalo, the Council of Governors, led by the Chairman, Wycliffe Ambassador Paranya, and all the Excellencies, the Governors, the Deputy Governors, the Leaders, the, the Governor Designate, who is the Deputy Governor of Nemira County, your Excellency Amos Naribo, the MPs of this county, Maribo Ben, Maribo Nemoko, Maribo Shadrach, Maribo Kemosi, Maribo Jerusha Mumani, and your colleagues, the MCAs, the CCs of the county government of Nyamira, my colleague speaker from Kisi, ladies and gentlemen, good afternoon. My name is Taya Moffat, the Speaker of the County Assembly of Nyamira. My work is simple. I'm asked to introduce the Honorable MCAs of Nyamira County Assembly. And I will ask them most humbly to stand up where they are because they might not uh, walk up front. I can see a number of them are blocked, but I can see Honorable Nyanchama Samuel representing Itibo Ward, Honorable Karo Mogere, Special Elect, Honorable Leonard Mogaru, a member of the board, Honorable Sese Irene, Honorable Abuga George representing Bogichora Ward, Honorable Jeria Nyakangi, Special Elect, Honorable Lillian Nyamweya, Special elect, Honorable Kebaso Dennis, the leader of minority, Honorable Keganda Charles, representing uh, uh, Bosamaro Ward, Honorable Duke Oyagi, representing Township, Honorable Nyabaro Thaddeus from Ekerenya Ward, Honorable Jane Mokaya, special elect, Honorable the media people are blocking some, Honorable Nyarango Joseph. Honorable Mokua Ezna, Honorable Stera Matunda, Honorable George uh, Nyachai from Kemera, Honorable Abel Mose, Honorable Jerida Ibongia, Honorable Mocheche Robinson, my deputy speaker, Honorable Sironga Benson representing uh, Rigoma. I'm not seeing the others. Honorable Boira James, Honorable Morocco Charles, representing Yesima. Is that Honorable Moti Duke, representing Kiawanyaru? And the other, uh, this is uh, 
This is Honorable Barongo Charles. Honorable Barongo Charles uh, spent a lot of time with the governor. Actually, in the first term, he was the political advisor of the governor, and uh, I think he is feeling the pain too. Thank you. I saw Honorable Mosiori Frederick. I saw Honorable Jerry Daibongia. I've seen Honorable Irene Mayaka. I saw Honorable Alfa Yongeresa. All the 36 honorable members of the counter assemblies are here and we recognize you, feel most recognized honorable members. I will, this is the leader of majority, honorable Atuya Karen. Thank you so much. And the, the only elected lady from ODM party, she has been elected twice as a member of the counter assembly. Thank you so much, leader of majority, please uh, may use it. I will want to uh, recognize the, my counterpart, the Speaker of Kisi. The Speaker of Kisi shares, uh, shared the school with the late governor in Kisi school. I don't know whether I will, uh, I will be asking much if he comes. All right. Speaker Kisi, Moshimewa uh, David Komba, thank you so much. I will ask the CEC members to, for the county of Nyamira and all the others to be on their feet the county executive committee members of uh, all the counties, including our county. I can see uh, Mr. Bozire Douglas, the CEC for Health in Yamira County. All right, thank you so much, CEC. Please be seated. Uh, thank you. Thank you. Uh, fellow mourners, I've had a chance to work closely with the governor for the last three years. And as you well know, the assembly works very closely with the executive arm of the government. And he has taught me about three things. Number one, kindness. The governor was always a kind man, not just in his words, but even in his deeds. And all the time I could meet him, even if I was a bit angered with him, you could just change. And he smiles and tells you, young man, can we discuss on these issues? So I've learned to be kind. And in Ephesians 4.32, it tells us to be kind to one another. Number two, I've learned that the governor was a peaceful man all the time you wronged him or he wronged you and he realized he could be the first one despite his age to ex extend an arm of reconciliation and always he said in uh, matter time look for peace and follow it that is our governor and peacemakers are the ones who will inherit this earth and the heavenly kingdom Number three, he has taught me to be patient and tolerant. And that explains this man lying here. And as an assembly, we want to thank all of you for giving him the chance to be the first and the pioneer governor. And we've supported him. And we will continue supporting his vision because the vision still goes on. And I want to thank uh, uh, the right honorable Raira Molo Dinga for believing in this man and giving him a ticket of ODM twice and he never disappointed. We shall, we shall live to proceed with his dreams and ensure that the people of Nyamira realizes what he wanted to, to do for these people. The incoming governor, uh, Honorable Amos Nyaribo, the assembly yesterday spoke and you were here and I want to announce before these leaders that we will support you. Count us as your fast food soldiers to ensure that the remaining 18 months also you take Yamira to the next level. And having been the running mate of our late governor for all this time, you bear the vision. You know the manifesto. And you, I know you will settle down quickly and deliver for the people of Nyamira. I finally want to thank the president for allowing us 
and declaring this to be a state funeral and using our, our brother, the son of the soil, Dr. Fred Matiani, who was chairing the National Committee. We hope we've not disappointed you because we wanted to ensure that this is done as per your expectation. Take our regards to the president. We recognize the national government and the support they have given to this family. Finally, to the family, and Mama Naomi bears this. Every time the governor called me, he could ask me about Ebise Sembuyavire. I know justice knows that. Ebise Se, right honorable, means my children, the young ones. Before he even tells me of office duties, he could just inquire about my family. And my wife is my witness. Meaning that this is a man who valued family. I pray for you that you may have strength, that you may have hope and a peace, and a please continue with the legacy of the late governor. I thank you and may God bless you. We pray for peace in our county and our country. May God bless you. Mukienda Nyumbani, Muambia Assembly Koimara, Nateya Mewasalmia. Asante Sana. Thank you, thank you, Honorable Speaker. Asante Sana. Yeah, Nyamira prides itself. We have the youngest uh, speaker in the in the nation of the 27 hours is the youngest um, now I think uh, I want to take this to the next level I want to invite our host uh, MP member of uh, parliament for West Magrango Honorable Vincent Kemosi Mogaka to recognize the former MPs present and uh, the members of National Assembly who are present Honorable Vincent Kamasi, please. Uh, thank you very much, uh, Yamira Count Senator. Your Excellency, the Right Honorable Raira Molo Dinga, Chief Justice Honorable David Maraga, our CS, my colleagues, members of parliament, governors present, and all the mourners present. I want to take this opportunity to most sincerely welcome you to West Mugrango and Nyamira County, and thank you very much for finding time to come and condole with us. We are in pain. We are mourning not just a governor, we are mourning a hero. The loss is not for Nyamira County alone. This is a great loss to the whole country. Because of time, and I'm aware that we have various feasts who are going uh, very fun, tomorrow is Christmas Day, I want to be extremely very brief so that we can move faster. And I want to implore on my colleagues here that I want us to be very brief, extremely brief, so that uh, we conclude uh, in the next five minutes this program I'm learning. Uh, allow me to wherever you are. I know we have various aspirants from parliamentary. Wherever you are, stand up. For West Mugrango, Nyamira County, we have aspirants if they are here. Do we have any? I see Steve Mwaka is there. Just salute. Who is, who is around again? Steve Mwaka, Asante Sana. I can't see, but there's somebody there. Asante Sana. Asante Sana. Asante. Those are the aspirants. We have uh, the former members of parliament. I saw Nyambati is here. Wherever you are, just stand up. Wherever you are, Nyambati, Gesami. Uh, we have our senator, former senator. We have Timot. Uh, that is good. Uh, just uh, Honorable Gesami and uh, Timot, just move here very fast. In just a minute. In just a minute. These are very critical people. The Honorable Gesami is the former member of parliament for West Mugrango and he has worked very closely with the, the late governor. Honorable Gesami, just a minute to say a word of folly. And then uh, Timothy, the same thing. All protocols observed. My name is Dr. Gesami. Family of Mwishmiwa Nagarama. I've worked with Mwishmiwa uh, Nyagarama for 10 years when I was member of parliament in this place. And he's an extremely polite person. And even when he went for a uh, uh, campaign, it was Raira, Nyagarama, Gesami, in that order. And we went through 
that time very well. We have lost a person who's really strong for this, uh, for this county. What I'm only appealing to all of us in Nyamira, let the death of Nyagarama give us a unity of purpose in this, in this county. We have lost a farmer, a teacher, a businessman, and an enterprising person. May the Lord rest his soul in eternal peace. Asante Mwishmiwa for being brief. Timot. <clears throat> All protocols observed. You have come here today for a ceremony of a great man. Great man whom I managed to work with, shared with, oversighted, criticized for that matter. But until he died, I never saw the great man annoyed, confused, or against anybody but a humble man who took everything in stride. A leader who accepted criticism, but what he took in and took out, he has gone to the grave, not many would understand how he interpreted. I say so because in criticism, somebody speaks out and you get to know his mind. He had very few words and he never talked against anybody. I've no way great man who related with his people and other leaders without any controversy. He was my cousin. I wish him well and we pray for his soul for eternal peace and for the family we pray for you we understand what you are going through I saw a great family in front of us for the county he has left a big gap that the governor designate you have a great role ahead of you to appreciate what the Nyamira people for sure will expect of you. The late has left, the county united, I hope you will pick from there and move ahead the expectations of our people in the manner he had laid a great foundation that you will spring on. Asante sana. Thank you. Thank you very much. Asante sana, Timothy, for being brief. Uh, the KCMCS who are present here, they were not recognized. I think the speaker forgot to recognize them. If you are around, just stand up wherever you are and salute the Kisi uh, MCS. We are members of the Count Assembly of Kisi. We have one here, Asante sana. Thank you very much. And the rest, Asante, take your seat. Allow me this time to recognize the members of parliament present, wherever you are, stand up, National Assembly, members of parliament, members of parliament, wherever you are. Just move forward. I see, I don't know, I don't know your names, all of you. Just move forward here, very fast. Move forward here, please. Please, very fast. My, I had five minutes to talk, but I've donated to you to just state your name. I'm not going to say anything. Uh, the last one should be from Nyamira to speak. The last one's from Nyamira to speak. Just Pole, where you come from, member of parliament from where, and then Pole to the family, to Malize. Araka sana. Asante sana, Abantu Bambinto Miamore. Mimi naitua Gladys Wanga. Mimi ni Mbunge, kutoka Homa Bay. Na pia Rafiki sana, wa governor Nyagarama. Hakuna siku governor aliniongelesha kwa Kiswahili 
kila wakati aliniongelesha kwa kijaluo kumaanisha ya kwamba the greatest bridge builder that we had is governor nyagarama no wonder his nickname is sibor manganga which is luo for simba kamili kwa hivyo sisi tunajua alikuwa anajenga madaraja na sisi wote tufuate njia ya kujenga madaraja the building of bridges to make peace in this country asante sana na mungu awabariki asante sana gradis wanga from mohoma bay county eh, karibu mheshimiwa petris kwa majina naitwa mheshimiwa petris kones member of parliament bomet east nigependa kutoa pole kwa mama and family mzima for the loss of mzee tuko pamoja asante sana yes proceed mimi ni mheshimiwa senator janet ongera kutoka kisi county kwanza ningependa kutoa rambi rambi za pokee kwa dada yangu naumi naumi is my first cousin and my sister take heart god is with you and the entire family led by the children of Nyagarama Emily we stand in solidarity with all of you Kitu ningesema ni kitu kimoja tu let Nyagarama's death unite us in the last few days Nyagarama used to talk to us about harmony peace and being a united front he told us let us be united wherever we are let this make us a united front that that the liberation that we have gotten into right now particularly what the right honorable baba i wish he was here to hear what i wanted to say what him and the pri and the president started for us bbi it will ete ile unity ya garama alipigia sana let god rest his in peace because this was a man of peace Thank you. Asante sana. I request my colleagues just say your name, your constituency and the poll. That is it. Proceed. Uh Sin Liz Chelule. Liz. Mimi ni Sheker Machogo Mbaki, member of parliament in Arbari Mashaba. Familia ya Nyagarama tunatoka pamoja kwa sababu mzee ni jirani wangu huko ya Manoti tumetembea sana pamoja na mzee alikuwa ni ndugu wangu mkubwa alikuwa ni rafiki watu pahari tunatoka wamejua ni mzee alikuwa amechitorea kikamilifu kutenda kazi alipenda watu familia inajua tumefanya mengi pamoja nilikuwa kama kijana wake mdogo kwa sababu alikuwa mzee saidi ya miaka kumi lakini tulifanya mengi pamoja watu wana mira pole na Mungu atakuwa pamoja na familia atakuwa pamoja nanyi Mungu awapariki Asante sana eh, Machogu honorable Machogu Liz Chelule Thank you Asante uh, Your Excellency the Right Honorable Raila Odinga the CSS present members of parliament ambao wako hapa familia ya aliyelala hapa kiongozi wetu governor wa Nyamira mimi kwa majina naitwa Liza Chelule I'm the women rep for Nakuru County na nimekuja hapa sababu Nyamira hapa niko na marafiki wengi sana nimefika hapa sababu ya huyu kiongozi ambaye amelala hapa ni kiongozi wetu sisi wote ah nimefika hapa pia sababu niko na marafiki wengi moja ni mheshimiwa wetu wa West Mogrango moja ni mheshimiwa eh, Nyamoko ambaye yeye ndio chairman alikuwa chairman wangu ya broadcasting and library tukaondolewa na yeye na wengine na mama county wa Nyamira kwa hivyo nimefika hapa Nyamira ikiwa ni jirani kwangu um, Liza Chelule mimi nimesaliwa upande wa Kericho samani za zile 1960s na nikalelewa hapa Bomet county hapo Borabu kwa Momanyi hapo hapo niko na my grandparents yangu hapo na tulisoma na watu wengi kutoka Nyamira na baadaye wazazi wangu wakahama kwenda upande wa Transohia ambaye wako sasa. Na mimi mwenyewe nimeolewa Nakuru na mimi ni kiongozi wa Nakuru. 
hiyo ninataka kusema nini ama Kenyan mimi ni Kenyan so nimefika hapa kusimama na nyinyi kusimama na family kuombea family mama na watoto wake ambaye tumewaona hapa na tumefurahia sana hata ingawa tunalia hatuwezi kukataa kushukuru Mwenyezi Mungu mpaka mahali amefikisha kiongozi huyu amelala hapa hivyo nataka kusema pokea pole zetu kutoka Nakuru County niko na watu wengi sana ambaye wanaishi hapa Nyamira na Kisi ambaye wanaishi na Kuru County na nimelete pole zao asanteni sana Asante na watakia sana. Uh, na watakia Christmas njema na mwaka mpya yenye mafanikio sisi kazi yangu kwanza kama kiongozi i preach peace and unity in our country and asante. it is paramount kwa hivyo asante sana uh, asante 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 because sana because nimepata privilege kusimama mbele ya baba hiyo hiyo kiti yetu ya kina mama please isiondolewe katika biblia hiyo ndio ninalia mpaka mwisho asanteni sana asante. merry christmas and happy new year thank asante sana asante sana list please let's mention our name paul to the family i think that will save us time asante sana waonge wakati hatuna wakati just proceed osoro thank you very much your excellency right honorable raila molo dinga and all protocols observed na familia yote poleni sana mimi ninaitwa silvana zosoro mimi ni mbunge wa south mugrango constituency kisi county uh, asante sana leo tumekuja hapa kwa sababu ya kulilia uh, governor wetu nyagarama governor mbaya alikuwa mpole sana 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 na huwa saa zingine tunaambiwa kama wanasiasa tukiingia kwa matanga saa zingine huwa tunaambiwa tusizungumza hata neno moja la siasa lakini huwa tunapenda kuwakumbusha ya kwamba mhubiri akizungumza anazungumza maneno ya Mungu na mwanasiasa akifariki sisi wanasiasa tunazungumza siasa kwa sababu sisi ni wanasiasa pili ni seme na ni kuwe very brief your excellency prime minister na waziri na viongozi wote wa handshake. Asante ni sana kwa BBI. Lakini kwa hapa kisi kwetu kitutu masaba inahitaji an extra constituency, Bobasi inahitaji an extra constituency, South Mugrango inahitaji an extra constituency. We also want to be felt kama watu wa gusi pamoja na tuwekwe kule ndani kabisa kabisa kabisa. And this time round from the other team ambayo ni handshake, we also want a pair and a share kwa ile kiti kubwa kule juu. Kama hatuna hiyo, we are not going to support anything ambayo ni kuingine kama sisi kisi hatuna hiyo. Na ni vizuri tuseme namna hiyo. Ya mwisho ni seme nimetumwa salamu na His Excellency Dr. William Samoei Ruto ambaye alikuwa aje hapa, ambaye alikuwa aje hapa, alikuwa na familia kule Karen, tulikuwa pamoja na yeye kule na akapoa aka, peana familia pole lakini kwa sababu ya kazi na maneno mengine hangeweza kufika hapa lakini Nyamira tena atakuja na atakuja na ataleta hata wilbaro na maneno mengine hapa asante thank you very much god osoro. bless you asante sana mheshimiwa osoro for your time omnae potongi onare potongi onare potongi please kind i want to request you my colleagues to be extremely very brief mention your name sema pole kwa familia tukate tukae tafadhali mfua inanyesha wageni wanaondoka i beseech you my colleagues god is good and all the time on my own behalf on behalf of the people of nyaribari chache where i represent i want to take this opportunity to say pole to the family to the friends of honorable nyagarama he has been described in a special way as a gentle giant which I agree with the mourners. He was such a gentle giant. Right on, Repo, my brother Fred Matiangi, not long ago that I lost my father, and Nyagarama came and took time to be with us as a family. We don't take that for granted. Knowing that he kisses, he has no political interest whatsoever, he came there because he is as an elder of the church, and he believes in building preachers and supporting the people. I want to take this opportunity on behalf of the Kisi people to say thank you, my brother Fred Matiangi. Through your office, you were able to ensure that Mzee has been given a state pario. It would not have happened without the support of your being in the office. We appreciate you. As I finish, I want to say that uh, what my colleagues have said ahead of me is that we support PPI uh, Right Honorable. 
because the Kisi people believe in uh, businesses. We want opportunity enabling an environment where we'll be able to do our businesses in every part of the country. We support it because we believe it through PPI. We have a chance of doing that and uh, growing the Kisi economy to the highest level possible. We are supporting it, and we are grateful that you had that vision. I had a chance of accompanying you to the U.S. Washington with the president. That was the opportune time for me to witness the power of the handshake. Before then, I didn't know what the handshake was. Until I saw the standing ovation you were given by the president of the world in the White House. You are, you are a great man, and we appreciate you. We appreciate the vision you had for this country, Asante and we look forward sana. to supporting you. Asante Asante well, Asante 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 Tongi, Honorable Onyonka, Kitutu Chate South. Waziri Mkuu, Mwishimu Raila Molo Dinga, Kwa familia ya mzee Nyagarama, na watoto wake wote na mama mbaya na keti hapa mbeleni. Mawaziri ambao umekuja hapa, wale magava na wote ambao wamekuwa kisindikisha huyu mzee hamjamboni. Mimi nimekuja kuleta rambi rambi zangu kibinafsi kama mbunge wa eneo wakilishi la kitutu chache kusini. Na tena kutoka kwa familia ya baba yangu, Mheshimiwa Dr. Onyonka, Mama Beatrice alisema nikija ni wapatie pole yangu sana. Mzee Nyagarama wakati alikuwa akinikuta vile nilisikia kijana wa Nyagarama anasema kuna vitu zingine alikuwa anafanya lakini huku jua hizo vitu zilikuwa ni za nini. Mimi alikuwa ananishika kwa kichwa. Amefariki bila mimi kujua ni sababu gani alikuwa ananishika kwa kichwa. Ni mzee alikuwa wa amani vile kila mtu amesema na ni mzee ambaye atawacha historia njema hapa. Kwa familia ya Nyagarama mkae pamoja hata sisi baba zetu wamefariki. Muwe mkijadiliana na mzungumze na marafiki wa baba yenu mkiwa na shida kubwa. Kumalizia ndugu yetu Fred Matiangi. I want to thank you for what you have done by making sure that this funeral is as decent and as dignified as it is. I really am proud of you. The gentleman who is my friend, my former classmate, Mr. Nyaribo, you are going to take over. Listen to your people, engage with them. When you make a mistake, be willing to accept it and be reasonable and fair. They will support you. That is the message we've been given out here. Kumalizia, wacha niseme hivi. Wale wanaobisha BBI, tunakubaliana kuwa demokrasia inatukubalia muoposi yo BBI. Kwa sababu ndugu yangu, osoro alileta hayo maneno, atu kutaka kuongea maneno wa siyaza. Lakini sasa hiko hivi. Sisi hapa mzee nyagarama alikuwa na support BBI, kama vile mwishimeo ongwae alikuwa na support BBI. Sisi kama viongozi wa kisi, tuna sababu tuna support BBI. Na wacha niseme hapa leo. Ukiangalia historia ya Kenya, jami mbili ndiyo zimeongoza nchi hii. Wakikuyu wameongoza nchi hii miaka thelathini, wakalenjinu wamepiga ingine thelathini. Na sisi tunataka uongozi ukuje pande hii. Tutapiga hiyo siyasa mpaka tuwelezo wa Kenya. Kumalizia. Sisi hatuangalizi hizo viti kubwa kubwa mnasema Tunaangalia hela ambazo ni zinakuja kwa mashinani 20% God bless you mzee Raila You have fought for this country You have suffered for this country And we will reward you to be president of this country Asante sana, asante sana mweshimiwa Nyamoko Hello, hello. Basi asante sana, asante sana. Nyamoko. The family of uh, the late Honorable John Obiero Nyagarama, the right Honorable Prime Minister 
the CSS president kuanzia ndugu yangu mheshimiwa Fred Matiangi my very good friend CS Eugene Wamalwa the chairman council of governors all the governors present ndugu yangu Amos Nyaribo ambaye atashikilia baada ya kumlaza mheshimiwa John Obiro Nyagarama nataka kwa niaba ya watu wa North Mogrango constituency niseme pole zangu nasema hivyo kwa sababu ya heshima kubwa sana tulio nayo kwa huyu mzee ambaye amelala hapa wakati tulitoka Nairobi kwa sababu tulikuwa na vikao na wale wameongea mambo ya politics hapa hawakuweko we gave a very firm commitment kwa sababu huyu mzee namjua na kila mtu alikuwa namjua tulisema ni lazima kwa sababu he was a very decent person atutafanya vile wengine wanafanya huku nje kwa sababu ni lazima tumheshimu na tuheshimu ile family ambayo inaomboleza kwa hivyo kwa niaba ya watu wa North Mogrango nataka kusema mimi nilikuwa na nafasi kubwa sana because nilifanya kazi na yeye nikiwa speaker wa county assembly ya Nyamira and I can attest that if there is one person who is decent na gharama was one kama kuna mzee ambaye alikuwa na hekima mzee ambaye alikuwa mpole ni huyu mzee ambaye amelala hapa atungelipendelea tukae hapa the old day kwa sababu tunajua vile mzee alikuwa naishi kwa hivyo ombi langu ni kuwa tujiheshimu na tuheshimu family and then at the end of the day tuwe na mwaka mpya na christmas in jema asanteni na pole to the family thank you Shadrach Mheshimiwa Shadrach Mose The first lady of our uh, departed governor right uh, honorable Raira uh, Amoro Odinga our former prime minister our chief justice and the president of the supreme court our CS CS Matiangi my brother CS uh, Yuchin Wamarwa, the chairman council of governors and all governors present, our senators, our members of parliament, members of the county assembly, and uh, last but not least, our governor designate, our brother Amos Nyaribo. Let me also take this uh, opportunity to give my sincere condolences to the family of Governor Nyagarama. Uh, First Lady, I know you are extremely pained with this death and the children of Nyagarama. Mze Nyagarama alikuwa ni mze mpole saidi. Alikuwa ni governor, lakini kama unge mkuta in many forums, you will not even think he was a governor. He was extremely humble. And that's why, as my brother Nyamoko has said, when we sat down, tulikupaliana ya kwamba, tumpatie heshima ya kisucha. Na leo tumekucha hapa kwa sababu hiyo, kumpatia mkono wa puriani na kumwambia ndugu yetu governor wetu tumpendwa asafiri salama governor nyagarama na kumbuka when i lost my mother immediately after winning the elections was was one of the very first persons to go to my home to say pole and I therefore convey the condolences of my, my father who from that time said Nyagarama is his boss is his everything so kwa familia na mimi 
I am in the same, same, same shoes because I know what Mse stood for. Secondly, I want to thank our CS, na ile timiote tulikuwa Nairobi. Na nataka kusema kwamba ile tulikubaliana kwamba tufanye kasi, tusaidiane kuhakikisha tumeenda mbere vizuri, imedirika kutoka jana na sasa na bado tutaendelea pamoja. What I want to say, eh, Amos, as our designate governor, umepatiwa viatu ambayo unastairi kufaa. Sisi kama viongozi wa uh, kitaifa, vile vile nilisikia the councillors here, the MCS here, tuko pamoja na we want to support you until you make this uh, remaining period a success for all of us. And for the children of Nyangarama, I want you to take them as your own children and take care of them until the, the, this uh, uh, period is over. Na ile mambo ingine, watu wanyamira walinena, wewe ulisikia vizuri. We will come with all, you know, advices. But after we have given you the advice, take the right advice and lead this great uh, county to the next level where we will also be happy and cherish you as our governor designate. Mwisho kabisa, na meona wageni wa metoka mbali mbali. Mukirudi, murudi salama. And I therefore want to wish you a Merry Christmas and prosperous New Year 2021. Tukiwa pamocha kama chami. Asante ni sana mungu wa bari. Asante mweshmi wa Shadrach Mose. Women Rep. Cherusha Mumani. Thank you so much, Your Excellency, uh, the Right Honorable Raira Morodinga, our CSS who are present here, governors, members of parliament, the family, and all mourners. Today, we are mourning a giant. This man who is inside this casket was a peacemaker. And we know the Bible says, blessed are the peacemakers and the blessings will always come and they will go to the family so the, fam the family members as you are mourning you should know that you are a blessed family because your father has given you the blessings this man we have worked with him in his first term I was a member of the counter assembly service board so I worked within his government. And every other time, he was telling us, make peace and make sure that you work for the people. He wants our people in the country and in our county to get that which belongs to them. He has set a pace for our governor incoming now. We want to pray for you, Governor. Yesterday, when we were here, all Count Assembly members, they gave an undertaking that they are going to assist and make you finish this term peacefully. And you also said that you are ready to accommodate the family, the larger family of Mse, including all those who are working under him. We want to pray for you. We know the challenge is not easy. But just take it. God is there and will take charge. For the monarchs who have come here to condole with us, take this from Mama County Wanyamira. We are so grateful. More especially to the president and the national leadership. We want to thank them for what they have done to us. This is a great respect. And it has come because we know there is peace, because we know our son, Fred Matiangi, has done a great job, which has also made us in Nyamira to be given this uh, respect. We thank you and we want to wish you, as you go, God is Johnny Masses. Merry Christmas as you enter into the, the festival and a blessed New Year 2021.
Asante sana. Thank you so Asante much. Asante sana Mama County. Last but not least, Penny Mama. Penny just is moving here because uh, I see you are uh, you are not so tall. You are. Uh, Thank you. Sante sana mwishimuwa kemozi kwa kunibatei na vasi na mimi pia niambie familia ya mse gavana wetu ambao tulikuwa tunapenda sana kwa mba pole sana. Your Excellency, Prime Minister, OCS, Fred Matiangu, plus his colleague, Your Excellency's governors who are here, want to take this opportunity and thank you. Thank you so much for finding time to come during this final journey of our brother that we are going to lay here today to rest. Yagarama have worked with him from 2013 when we were first elected to, uh, was ele elected to parliament and he was also elected as governor Nyamira. I've worked with him for the last eight years. Nimse ambao nilikuwa na ishimu ni kiongozi ambao tulikuwa tume Um, ni kiongozi ambayo tumepoteza kama sisi watu wa Nyamira and kisi kwa chumra kwa hivyo watu wa Nyamira familia ya mzee najua sisi wote we will miss this mzee and he was a very wonderful very wonderful mzee as a governor uh, wetu hapa Nyamira mshimiwa Amos Nyaribo the one who is now going to take over from mshimiwa uh, governor Nyagarama We want to undertake, as we did yesterday, we will work with you, we will support you, and make sure that for this remaining period, you deliver exactly as you had planned with Ms. Mewa, uh, uh, governor before he left. Your Excellency, uh, the Prime Minister, I want to confirm to you here that the last public function that Mse attended. It was a function where we were launching the signing of the signatures for the PPI. That was on the 27th November this year. You, as you know, Your Excellency, with your brother, uh, the, uh, His Excellency the President, you nominated me to be in charge of BPI in this region. Therefore, on that day, Your Excellency, I didn't know that I was going to see him alive for the last time. He insisted that I go and pick him from his house, and I did exactly that. When I picked him from his house, and we drove together to to Huru Gardens, where he appended his signature as a supporter of PPI. Your Excellency, uh, we will as a team, and I can tell you when you nominated me to be in charge of PPI in this region, this region, our work will work as signature Sakutosha, and we will support it to Your Excellency. Some of my friends here, Jana Tulisema, uh, as Nyamira people, we were not going to talk politics here. Lakini kwa sababu wengine wa menge juu ya iyo hapa. We cannot get a constituency in Bobasi. We cannot get a constituency in Kitutu Masaba. If we don't append our signature and support this document and say, in, and say we want these signatures here. Those who are making noise here, Your Excellency, did not even append their signatures. I can tell you because I'm the one in charge from this region. They never did it. They just come here to make noise. But and I want to tell them and warn them that go and append your signatures if indeed you want us, we want the fruits that you are talking about to come to this region. Finally, Your Excellency, I want to thank, in, I want to thank, I want to sincerely thank our son here. What was he said? The ambassador. Umuru mbele mbele bunifu ya mondo tayari orulenoe ni siri njia yemo 
vile tuko hapa siku ya leo our son this one chieme jichonzi chindege jimora cha chilegaiga truly he has made us proud as the people of Omokusi and your excellency the right honorable i want to confirm to you here today that going forward we will as a team follow this gentleman seated next to you here and as Omokusi we will follow him and wherever you sit your excellency pale mulaka pale ju in include him akitutetea maneno na sisi tunafuata nyinyi thank you and may god bless you pia mwana sana asante sana i am not going to say much because i donated my minutes to my colleagues i only want to take this opportunity your excellency to thank you very much for uh, finding time to come and condole with us we also thank you the, the former maida Yesterday we were with her with the family in Nairobi she condoled with us your excellence and we thank you very much for that I also want to take this opportunity to thank other leaders his excellency the president his excellency the deputy president the wipe democratic movement leader Kalonzo Musyoka Moses Wetangula Ford Kenya uh, and uh, Amani National Congress uh, leader Musari Mudavadi who also condoled with the family we were in place to host them and we want to thank them very much for finding time to condole with us uh, the deputy governor nyamira who is to take over as the governor for nyamira yesterday we, we were here and we have assured you that as leaders from nyamira we will go extra mile to give you support so that you can take over for the remaining period be assured that we will work with you very closely so that you can be able to deliver for the remaining period and i also want to assist to ask you most sincerely that as we go forward you work very closely with the family of the late honorable nyagarama nyagarama the governor me have worked with him very closely and as the host member of parliament i can tell you as a matter of fact that him say nyagarama akwanajua kukasirika he was always chofio he never wronged anybody and if he wronged anybody he would always apologize and as you know those ones who of you know msen nyagarama in a public function he was a man of very towards i remember i can i can i can be correct and some of you can attest with me that there is no open or public function that I have attended where the honorable nyagarama has spoken for more than 3 minutes that one i can attest so as we we you uh, apologize in this uh, this afternoon i want to ask you most sincerely to remember the family in prayers we stand with you the family and we will always uh, be there to comfort you may god bless you and i may I take this opportunity to thank each and every one of you for finding time to come and condole with us for those many remarks i want to get back the program to send it that proceed asante, asante sana thank you asante uh, mheshimiwa uh, you are our host so tumekukubalia umekula muda kidogo sawa i am um, you know we like being gentlemen uh, we had a meeting with the church in nairobi we had a meeting with uh, mama naomi with the family led by Emily and we had given our undertaking that we are not going to talk politics because Mzee was uh, soft for the politics that has taken place today. I now finally want to call our Mzee, Mzee Senator Professor Sam Ongeri to close up this act of elected members of parliament. Mzee Ongeri. family of late His Excellency Nyagarama, Mama Ambaye Tumekucha Kutsindikisa Katika Hii Safari Naomi and the children, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Chief Justice, the Cabinet Secretary, Ray Matiani and uh, 
cabinet secretary, Eugene Wamagwa, all governors and the deputy governors, and Wanainchi. Mama Naomi, you know you are my neighbor, they are where we are. Emily, you are my next neighbor in my, where I'm staying with your husband, Duke. And I know Mzee Nyagarama. I would have loved that we go through the tune of Dr. Samuel, uh, Dr. Samuel, who preached to us today on the need to maintain a peaceful order in this funeral. Why do I say so? God is a God of order. God is a peaceable God. Even when Jesus went to cry and mourn his friend Lazarus and met the sister Naomi and mother and, uh, es and uh, ma ma mother and Mary, when he went to the graveside, Jesus wept. I think the shortest verse in the Bible, John 11 verse 35, Jesus wept. Even him, as our God, he wept. This is what we've come to do here, Naomi, to weep with you, like our master wept with you, wept with his friends. We are Nyagarama's friends, we want to weep with you and with a family and condone with you. Because Nyagarama was not a simple man. He was an epitome of humility. If you have sampled humility in mankind, he was one such person. He was so humane, so humble. Even when you interacted with him politically, he did not show you that harshness of politics. He showed you the politics of humility. And that's the man we've come to know. So we brought the messages of goodwill to your family, to the community and the people of Nyamira, and to the Kenyans. And I dare say at this moment that I've yet to see a funeral of this magnitude where the head of state is involved, the party boss of ODM, the Right Honorable Prime Minister is involved, the entire government machinery is involved. For me, this is an indication of goodwill and peace and tolerance towards us. <clears throat> Let's not squander away this opportunity that has been brought by Nyagarama, the late Nyagarama himself. If there was a testimony, he has already preached to us through what has happened today. And through the clergy, through what I've seen here, he has already witnessed for us. We need to follow. I would like one day to say, Mama Naomi, that in fact, if you read Isaiah 26 verse 3, the Lord says, He'll keep in perfect peace. He'll keep you in perfect peace. And this is what we want to bring to you. Let the Lord keep you in perfect peace, whose mind is stayed on you because He trusts you. Let the mind of the Lord stay on you and your family and the people of Nyamira and the Kenyans because we trust in the Lord. I would like one day to say to your family, this is the biggest thorn of flesh that you've inherited, the vacancy that has been created. Like Paul, three times Paul said, I want to die. But God came through and said, my grace is sufficient for you for my power is made perfect in your weakness. That's Second Corinthians 12 verse 9 and verse 10. This is what we've come for. 
I know ya Kaisari ni ya Kaisari. Na hiyo ya Kaisari itakuwa nje ya hema hii. Iwe ni mambo ya BBI, iwe ni mambo ya siasa ya kufutana na kuzungumza mambo mengine, hiyo kiwanja iko nje. Sio kwa ukumbi huu. So I really want to end my speech there. I'm ready for the BBI outside this hema. I shall not dilate on these issues now. But we are ready to face the future with a clear mind. And uh, right on the Prime Minister with your brother, the President Uhuru Kenyatta. The handshake is a God-given gift to Kenyans. You stretch the hand of peace. Na inuwa ba kusiyawa? Yamba tebi gentekema. Kumuranji. Na basa roili. Rerot yutu sike nyarama. Mambia mangananda wa tokea. Uchibu ano. Mwarigiri umano yunurorega amatiani. Wanyori kuli. God bless you. Ah, uh, as as an um, I'm just about to hand this back to Governor from my part on behalf of the Fraternity of Nyamira, CS Matiang. I was requested by the people of Nyamira to sincerely thank you for having spoken with the Excellency the President who has accorded our governor a state funeral. And we also want to thank all the visitors who have come to say Paul to us, led by His Excellency Raira Odinga, all the governors led by Governor Oparanya, our Chief Justice, and all the guests, Asateni San. To the incoming governor, Amos Mze, wanted to bring unity to this county of Nyamira. We hope as you assume that office, you will keep us united. And please, Linda, our daughter, Amze Nyagarama, Ambaya Melala. Ms. Amanganande, my dear, Mose Neto Inunaka Montaka Ngain, Umano Yogroko, Soro, my dear, Taraso, my BBI, Yavia, Krayaso, Agato, my dear, Jevunango, so my Buango. Na rojenga nyamira tadi yuto wa constituency ngaga tama pema na matia ni naraira to kaveka constituency ninge moja kita wewe kiasa maranga constituency na ro ya ya nyamira aendo soro chonda le bonya kuga ambanda na aende jeng commente ya ndiko rova si go chonda ra ya ningora kiasi sevi na kwa ndani biyama mweshimi wa unguwe tafadali take over. Uh, thank you very much, uh, my brother Senator, and my other brother Kemosi, uh, the Right Honourable Prime Minister, and all protocols observed. I know that we have taken long, but uh, we are dealing with a great man here. Let me also start by sincerely apologizing. And I'm asking uh, Dr. Fred Matiangi, we did promise His Excellency the President when he talked to us yesterday, because he did ask that we respect this decent man, uh, an aberration that may have happened a few minutes ago, we apologize for that aberration. I also want very, very quickly to uh, introduce the Secretary General of ODM, Sfuna, you are around. And I'm also sorry I didn't say about my wife, Elizabeth, Her Excellency Elizabeth, and our colleague of Naomi, she is also around. Let me just say one or two things, and as I conclude, I'll call my colleagues to come here so that they are introduced. Nyagarama, Mze Nyagarama came to school where I also was. He was much, much older than us. Actually, when he came to high school, he was married. And Nyagarama used to refer to us, 
and we would all laugh and he would laugh he would laugh all the time and indeed for me he didn't stop even when I was a, as a governor of Kisi County he would come there and I'm the governor of that great county of Kisi and he would, he would tell me oh, my God, my God. That was Nyagarama for you, a real great man, and uh, we will all miss him. I really don't want to talk more than that. But I want to tell you, Mr. Deputy Governor and the Governor-designate, just do know that the Kisi County, your, your brothers and sisters, because what we have in the middle here is only an administrative boundary, but we are one people. We will support you, and you, during your immigration, you can be very sure that I will come with the entire Kisi County Assembly and about half of them are in this room today. I would now want to ask the deputy governors who are here, led by my deputy Joash Mahangi, you are three of you. I think you are three of you here. There is the deputy governor, uh, uh, Owili for Kisumu County, Okumbe, for Siaya and Joash Mahangi. If you are around, I'll just give you two or three minutes. We've run out of time completely. Joash, you come and uh, just talk on, on, their, on their behalf and just introduce them in one minute, please. Before I say one word, let me ask my colleague Dr. Kumbe from here to stand. We have place Asante, my colleague from Kisumu, Dr. Willie Asante Sana. The family of the Red Nyagarama, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, the Chairman, Council of Governors, and your colleagues, Juan Matiangi and your colleague Minister, on my own behalf, and on behalf of the 45 every governors, who are, who two of them are here, we want to bring our condolences to the family of Nyagarama and the people of Nyamira County. We have lost a great man. I've always prided myself that our two governors, Governor Nyagarama and, Nyaga and Governor Nguai, I have lost one, but I'm lucky I still have the other. My brother, Nyaribo, the people of Nyamira are looking forward to leadership from you. I urge you, me and you have spoken to Meongea, please embrace that family. That's a wonderful family. Embrace the people who work with Nyagarama, and the God will bless you. Asanteni. Uh, thank you very much, DG. Uh, we also have in this room, we have Professor Kama, our Vice Chancellor from our greatest university here in Kisi. We also have Honorable Nyamweya, former member of parliament, Nyamweya Adin Sinyu, uh, for South Mogrango. And uh, he, we also wish him well. He wants to be governor of Kisi County. Uh, I will now ask all the governors who are in this room, except the chairman of those governors, uh, to please come forward. Please stand next to the mic. If you can stand uh, next to your brother. Just stand next to your brother. If you can put a line, please. We'll start with the tallest of them all. He is called Rasanga. And Rasanga. Excellency Rasanga, the governor of Siaya. Yeah, my name is...
Francis Rasanga. <laughs> Governor Siaya. Mm. Our friend to Nyangarama. And uh, a friend because we are alumni of Kisi High School. Nyangarama was a friend. He came to visit me in Siaya on three occasions. I came to visit him on one occasion. And lately, as we were talking about us visiting each other, he said I had to come to Nyamira twice so that he would now come to see her again. The reason why he was coming to visit me was I was inviting him to come and help me build a local church. And what I can say, for Leni Sana Familia, what I can do for Nyangarama is that church where he goes to. I don't mind helping you raising funds because of Nyangarama. Asante Nisana. Uh, thank you. Thank you very much, Governor. Please, uh, you know we are known for extreme efficiency. Uh, the next one is uh, Awiti, Cyprian Awiti, the governor of Omabe. Thank you very much, Governor. <clears throat> the Right Honorable Prime Minister, okay. Raela Molodinga, the family of uh, John, the CSS who are here, ladies and gentlemen. I want to say that uh, as a neighbor, Nyamarama was a great man. <laughs> he was a great man. As Rasanga has just put it, he visited us in Omba Bay twice. And I came here once. He is a great man, a leader, a visionary person. And one thing that our chairman will confirm here, and has been confirmed by everybody, was a man of few words. But if he opened his mouth and said something, it carried weight and was volume. Thank you. Thank you very much. Uh, uh, Governor Wangamati, please. Governor Wangamati, the governor for Bungoma. <coughs> Familia Yamwenazake, Governor Nyangarama, the former Prime Minister, the CS Matiangi, the CS Devolution, Chairman Wangu, uh, Council of Governance, my namesake, all the excellent governors who are bunge wenyawako hapa, na wakazi wata nyamira, tumusifi yeso Christu. God is good, and all the time, mimi nimekuja hapa, kwa niaba ya wakazi wa Bungoma County na kwa niaba yangu mimi mwenyewe I've come here to say Paul to the family and confirm what I've heard here that mzee was a man of few words na sisi kama council of governors hasa sisi wenye bado tuko vijana kidogo we will miss his wisdom in the council of governors Mimi nataka kuambia Governor Amos mwenye anakuja. When you see a governor, the people behind him is a very, very big family. Please, kelele mingi sana. Asante ni sana na mungu wa bariki. Thank you very much, Governor. Bye. All protocols have served. Good afternoon. Wani yapa yangu, ya familia yangu, na watu watu wa Bumet County, wache chukwe na fasi hii, wa silisha la setu sarambirambi, wa familia ya wa departed colleague. Oleni sana, wa kupoteza kwa wanawenu, 
watu wa nyamira I've lost a neighbor Somebody who treated me kama mtoto wake Every time we interacted Alikuwa na niongelesha kama mtoto wake And one lesson that I learned from him And I wish that all of us learn from him Ni kukunguza maneno Atufanyia watu kasi Kuleni sana mungu wa bariki Thank you very much Governor Okoto Bado Migori family that has lost their loved one, the church that is conducting this ceremony, the Right Honorable Prime Minister, our CJ, our CSS, fellow mourners, I've come here to lay my heartfelt condolences and that of my family and the people of Migori to the Nyagaramas and generally to the people of Nyamira County. Allow me to observe that uh, the late governor, just as you have mentioned in this uh, booklet, was indeed a peacemaker and a great conflict resolution engine. Personally, he was my advisor. Kiswahili wanasema mshauri wangu. During my low times and even during my high times, he was there for me. Just as my colleague from Sierra said, on more than three occasions, the late Nyagarama visited, visited me in Migori. The first visit, he came to help me fundraise for a very, very noble project called Kuku Nipesa. It was a very successful fundraising meant to empower the women of Migori County. On the second occasion, I lost my mother-in-law and he was there for me. He was so close to the spiritual world. And I want to observe and tell this congregation that uh, twice the late Nyagarama came to help me fundraise for uh, some church buildings. One was in Migori East SDA and the Arambe was very, very successful and now the Arun was putting their roof. In my own church, he sent a very powerful delegation. So personally, I shall dearly miss him. May his soul rest in peace. Will, Dr. Wilberforce Wilber Otichilo, the governor for that great county of Vega. All protocols observed kwa niaba yangu binafsi na watu wa viiga kwa jumla nimekuja hapa kuleta rambi rambi zetu kwa ndugu wetu wa nyamira kwa kumpoteza gavana wenu ambao tulikuwa tumempenda sana mimi binafsi nimekuwa rafiki wa karibu sana wanja wanyagarama kwa vile anytime tukiwa na ga, governing council mara nyingi ukapa karibu na yeye kwa ushauri kwa hivyo mimi nimempoteza rafiki mkubwa na kwa niaba yangu binafsi na watu wa Vihiga nasema pole kwa familia na watu wa Nyamira Mungu ambariki uh, professor Anyang Nyongo from the city of London, Kisumu County. Thank you very much, my brother James Mwai. Mama Naomi and the family, right on the Prime Minister and all leaders gathered here today, I will be very brief. I'm going to say two things. One is about our brother, Nyangaramu. Sometimes in 2018, when we had just come from Kakamega, the Evolution Conference, we were in Acacia Hotel with James Ongwai and uh, Nyangaramu. 
Ongwai came to me and told me that Governor Nagarama wanted to talk to me in his room. So we went along to his room and uh, we had a candid discussion with the governor. The governor said he wanted to consult me because he, like me, was suffering from prostate cancer. And since in 2010, I'd gone through the same thing. He wanted me to give him some advice what to do. And I assured him, Governor, prostate cancer is not a death sentence. Uh, something we must share. I will call my doctor in California, introduce you to him. We can talk to him on the phone. And you will go there, and you will be treated. Because there's something about Kenyans which is awful, I must say. Kenyans like to gossip about people's sickness. It's a very bad manners. <laughs> sickness is natural. Diseases can be cured. And you can get well and live like anybody else. Governor Nyangarama went to this Helen Diller Comprehensive Cancer Care Center. University of California, San Francisco, where I was treated. And he was treated by my doctor, Professor Mark Roche, a black American, who is the only authority in the world best known for treating first with cancer. And when you are treated in that hospital, the last day you ring a bell, which is a signal that you are okay. And Professor Roche will tell you, you go out, know you are treated. If you have any problem, come back and see me. Gamal Nyangarama used to go back like I did. And I know that John Obiero Nyangarama was a very healthy man. Very frequently taking his medical examinations to make sure that nothing goes wrong. And nothing went wrong. Professor Roach also told us that after I have dealt with you, you will die of any other disease but not prostate cancer. And therefore, when I heard that the governor had passed on, I was very pained because we share something in common. Maybe the season of God to harvest, but I'm asking God, please go slow. It is becoming too much. This coronavirus thing is becoming too much. But let me say one last thing. When I was a kid in a Christian family, we used to be told that Jesus died and he conquered death. And he actually rose from the dead and flew to heaven on his wings. And my mother told me that those who are believers in Christ will also fly to heaven. So whenever somebody died in the village, I used to go there after two or three days and find out, has this man woken up and gone to heaven on his wings? I never saw anything like that. But here in this song, we find a song telling us, when the trumpet of the Lord shall sound and time shall be no more, and the morning breaks eternal bright and fair, when the saved of earth shall gather over on the other shore, and the roll call is called yonder, I'll be there. Will I be there because I've flown there or because I've died? I think death is a very cruel thing which robbed us of love, love, love wonderful people like, like John. And I wish God was faithful enough just to give us wings and fly so that we don't go like this. In fact, I used to fear as a kid that when I woke up, I thought my mother was a very good Christian, might have flown at nine and gone to heaven. But she never did. Finally, she passed on at the age of 99, and I hope she has flown to heaven, where we shall all go with John Nangarama. Buona Yesu was uh, My chair of the Council of Governors, Dr. Wycliffe Ambessa Oparanya, if you can now come and talk on behalf of all the other governors who are not here, please come and talk from here. Hamjambo wote, all protocols observed. Mimi, kwa niyabayangu, 
kwa niaba ya familia yangu na kwa niaba ya watu wa Kakamega kwa jumla na kwa niaba ya baraza la magavana nataka nichukue fursa hii kuleta rambirambi zetu kwa familia ya mheshimiwa John Nyagarama na watu wa Nyamira kwa jumla leo mumeona magavanas wa church tulianza safari hii ya kumsindikiza ndugu wetu Ijumaa na wengi wa magavana tulikutana kule Nairobi living roll home wengi walikuwa pale na pia siku iliyofuata wengi wao walikutana kule nyumbani kwake kule Karen tukakutana na mama na familia kwa sababu tuko karibu na siku kuu ya Christmas wengi hawangoweza kufika hapa na wengi wao wameleta rambi rambi zao wote tuko pamoja ningechukua nafasi hii pia kwa niaba ya baraza la magavana kusema ya kwamba tumempotesa mtu ambaye alikuwa wa nguvu kabisa katika vikao vyetu tukikifanya kazi ya counties mimi binafsi amekuwa rafiki wangu na vile mmejua mimi nilisomea hapa Kisi School kwa sababu nilisomea Kisi School wakati tulikutana katika Council of Governors tukawa marafiki na kila saa sisi ukaa pamoja wale ambao walisomea kule Kisi School tukiwa na bwana Jameson Ngwae bwana Rasanga na yeye na mimi tuko three four those who went through Kisi School as governors and that's an achievement through Kisi School na kwa sababu ya hiyo mimi nimekuja hapa saiti ya mara tatu lakini nakumbuka sana siku ya mwisho ambayo nilikuwa hapa nilikuwa nimealikwa na senator wenu mkeni kuja kufanya arambe nimsaidie kanisa kanisa fulani na nikasema siwezi kuja hapa kabla niongee na ndugu yangu nyagarama nilipompikia simu akasema ataningojea na akasema kabla uende kwa kanisa upitie kwangu ukule chakula na nilikuwa na delegation kubwa sana nikasema tuko watu saidi ya hamsini utatuweza akasema mupitie mimi na gavana wa nguvu na nilipitia huko mama alikuwa na kwa sababu alisema yeye ako mukristo kabisa na siku hiyo ilikuwa siku ya Jumamosi na siku ya Jumamosi yeye alikuwa natenga iwe siku ya maombi na Jumapili akasema kwa sababu ni Jumamosi nitaruhusu wewe uende na mama katika hiyo harambe na mimi nitaenda kwa kanisa kwa hivyo alikuwa mtu ambaye alimheshimu Mwenyezi Mungu ndio kwa sababu wakati tukiwa na baraza letu na magavana yeye ndiye alikuwa na anatuombea anaomba tukianza na anaomba tukimaliza hata kama nyinyi mumempotesa na sisi kama magavana tumempotesa kabisa 
Nataka ni mwakikishie Deputy Governor Sisi tutakusaidia Uendeleshe hii county Ya Nyamira Vile inatakikana Tukusaidie watu wa Nyamira waendele mbele Vile mzee alikuwa anaendesha mambo yake this, is, this was a man with very few words A soft spoken man And if you are here And you feel this man wrong to you I think think twice The problem might be you Because this was a very soft man Who spoke very few words Kwa hayo machache mungu wa Uh, thank you very much, uh, our chair. I do want uh, to send, uh, indicate that we received uh, condolence messages from Jimmy Nuru Angwenyi, the member of parliament for Kitutu Church North, who were with him the whole of yesterday with Mama Naomi at Naomi's, at uh, Nyagarama's place in Nairobi. Their condolences from uh, Honorable Arama, member of parliament, for Nakuru West, who are also with him. We also have uh, Maureen Mbaka, our Chief Administrative Secretary in the Ministry of Information and Youth Affairs, that uh, good young lady who has a big position. Maureen, where are you? Thank you very much. It's now my honor and pleasure to invite Excellency Amos Nyaribo, Deputy Governor and Governor-designate for this great county of Nyamira. Uh, please come here, come and talk from here. The family of my brother, John Obiro Nyagarama, who was my brother, Prime Minister, Chief Justice, CSS, Governors, uh, PSS, and all leaders who are here, and the fellow one in Jam Jambo. I stand here today to mourn my brother Nyagarama. I knew him in 2013 when we were brought together by the party ODM. I had not met him before, and actually, after the party had already gazetted us, his daughter, Emily, I met first. We prepared the posters and everything. And then later on, I came to meet Nyagarama at the factory. We have been together for eight years. We have had ups and downs. But these ones have been like a brother because whenever we differed on opinion, he used to tell me, Buana, you know my grandmother was sired by Amonyengwe. Me, I'm from Banyengwe. So he could diffuse me that way, then I forgive him because we came from the same lineage, Banyengwe. He was a peacemaker. A passionate man with a smile which was always disarming even if you were annoyed. He was able to unite the county. And when he passed away is when I realized actually the burden he was carrying was very, very heavy. But I'm um, encouraged because 
the leadership of Nyamira from MP, MPs, Senator, MCS, they have undertaken to support me. I, as Amos, I can do little without the support of my colleagues in leadership. We leave it to God and we pray he supports us. Uh, the family of Nyagarama, Pilates assured we work together. Your father has projects, because I was also an insider. We had projects which were halfway, particularly the, the fractive projects. Since the MCS have already undertaken, I can assure you that I will give them priority before we do any new projects. And uh, to honor Nyagarama, the peace which we are forged now, let it last forever. We take, I take this opportunity also to thank the national government for what they have done to us. When we met for the first time in Nairobi on Friday, we formed three committees. One a technical committee led by the PS Interior. Another one led by Matiangi and Ongwae, which was composed of Kisi leaders and the close friends. And the other one we formed in Yamira, which was led by the county commissioner and the county secretary. I thank you very much for the good work all of you have done. Nkoira Nakawa Ono, Ongwa Kere President in Biyamono. Na endo monto ino kare gora arika mora anje. Mogo osana paso nari. Kira. Tao kwa na saba ando wande wa iweta. Ege ente ke tuwa koro tuwa ono ega nko tuwa janga torosa. Umu muru ito na ero. Nkia ngo uchonye tare ngo. And I got to Angana Ruby Goro, a more president of the Vatican and Tech Camo. Moisa Cog and Racovamo, Mubuati, Rainia, Momuna Mwang, Ashwede, Ga, began to Amashuete, to Anganava Chumbe, Nomo Senator, Namo Women Rep, Yoto to arrange Rayam. Moisa to arrange Rayamo, Kendrios Moran Sabe, Nimbae. You go to the next week. 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 I'm also a man of short words. I thank everybody who has attended this funeral. And wherever you go, go safe. For Mr. Nyagarama, to the Muambia, it is a very amenda. Aende na afike sarama, asante sen, asante sen. Uh, thank you very much, Amos. We wish you the best. All the governors there told me to tell you that they wish you the best. I am now handing over to my brother, but before I do, let me thank His Excellency, the President of the Republic of Kenya, for what he has done to us. Like Amos said, we would have all been contributing, but the President decided that the national government was going to come in and take care of this function. And the person who was given that responsibility was our own son, Dr. Fred Matiangi. Dr. Matiangi, you have been exemplary. When it was announced on Friday morning, I was in my house at home. 
you called me at 8 in the morning and you directed me that we meet in Nairobi at 1 o'clock. That particular day, the Right Honorable Prime Minister was coming to Kisi. There was another funeral of our engineer, Ariga. But I called him immediately. I told him, Paul Mze, Karibu Kisi, but we have lost our brother. I have to go to Nairobi. And by 1 o'clock, we were in your office, and we found all the Kisi leaders there. And you were able to put us together. We thank you, my brother. And like Nyaribu has said, after this function, we need to talk to each other. Ekiara na intu na utora atora atakewo chigo karanse seme saigoro. Oseba no. Dogo takato karanse seme saigoro. It's now my pleasure to invite my brother, Dr. Fred Matiangi, to take over from here. Thank you very much and be blessed. The Right Honorable Prime Minister, Mzewetu uh, uh, Raila Molo Dinga, the Honorable Chief Justice and President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, my elder brother, Justice David Maraga, my brother and colleague, uh, C.S. Wamalwa, the governors who are here, all our leaders who are here, <coughs> the family of uh, Mama Naomi Nomuaka Ominto, Raile Gaiga, Governor uh, my brother, thank you so much uh, for the manner in which you have moved this program. I propose that we now take this segment very briefly. We have about just two or three speeches, and I believe all of them are going to be brief, so that we can now move to the next level in this. But before I say something, I will invite my brother and colleague, our Cabinet Secretary for Devolution, because this ministry directly deals with counties, to make a two-minute remark before I invite uh, my elder brother, the Honorable Chief Justice, uh, to uh, make some remarks. Ndugu Wamalwa, please proceed. Uh, thank you very much, my brother C.S. Matiangi, the Excellency Prime Minister Raila Odinga, Excellencies, governors present, deputy governors, senators, members of uh, the National Assembly, the county assemblies of Kisi and Yamira, the family of the governor. Please allow me to relay my condolences to Mama Naomi and her family, and to also the larger Nyamira family and the Abagusi family, and the larger devolution family led by the COG uh, Chair, Governor Oparanya, with all the colleagues of the fallen gentle hero. We are here to say Pole as the devolution family. We have lost several governors in our seven years of devolution, but two of them were in the central Kenya region, in Nyeri County in particular. But in this region, this is the second governor we are losing after Joyce Laboso, who was the vice chair of the Lake Region Economic Block. And today we come back to Nyamira to bid farewell to our brother governor, Nyagarama. Nasema poleni kwa familia na pia familia ya ugatuzi. Sababu governor ametuacha wakati tuko na janga la corona, wakati kama nchi tuko tunapambana na mambo mengi sana, ambayo tunamuhitaji hapa Nyamira na Kenya nzima. We want to thank our governors. We have been working very closely with Governor Nyagarama and all the governors as we faced the most unprecedented health crisis in our country. So we are very, very certain that we have lost him in the middle of that war and we want to assure the people of Nyamira that as national government, will continue working with you. We will in particular work with the incoming governor, uh, Amos. I'm very happy to hear from the leadership of Nyamira itself. Starting with the MCS, the very able speaker who spoke here, have assured you of their support. 
and without the county assembly, it would be very difficult for you as the incoming governor to complete the work of our brother. So we want to thank our MCS. We've heard from members of parliament, from Senator Mogheni, that they will give you that support, and also from Governor Nguai, who was like a twin brother with Governor Nyagarama. They were always working together. We've also heard from the Council of Governors, from the Lake Region Governors, please embrace the de uh, Deputy Governor so that he can complete the good works of Governor Nyagarama. On behalf of the Minister of Devolution, we want to assure you that we will work with you as you come in. The, we had many plans, many things we are doing with the uh, Governor who is lying here today. And the same friendship and support we accorded him as a ministry, as national government, we will extend it to you as you walk the journey of completion of the good works that he started. Kwa Mama Naomi, I want to thank you. I've been to your home. We've heard about the kindness of this governor. I have experienced it myself. As the Minister for Devolution, I go to all counties. I work with all governors. But there was something very different about Governor Nigarama. The official door was not there. He was a down-to-earth, humble man who would say, Wamalwa, wewe kuja nyumbani. He used to call me Matoki. Now, who you governor Ongwai? I don't know why they gave me that name, but Ongwai, maybe you'll tell me. And he says, come home, let's have Matoki before we go to the projects, before we go to the work. I have experienced the warmth and love of your home. May the good Lord bless your family. Even as you enjoy this Christmas without him, it will be difficult. But may he make you strong to overcome this. So mwisho nataka niseme tuataka tuende mbele kukamilisha hii kazi pamoja. Na leo on behalf of the devolution family we want to tell the people of Nyamira the governors we lost in Nyeri, the governors we lost in Abomet. The transition was very small. Governor Barchok is here when we lost Joyce. There was no disruption of the programs in Bomet. We are really hoping that with a smooth transition in uh, Nyamira, the same will be experienced and we go forward together. Muriumno, Baba and Vaminto, Vanavanya Sai, Nenyambol and Nipol, Hutivia, Omugava now in you. Paul, the Hutivia, Omugambu Muya, Omugambu Muya, Vakureta, or Suitan. Omugambu muya ni wakurete sukuru. Omugambu muya muno ni wakurete omurembe. Blessed are the peacemakers. Asante mungu wako. Thank you, um, CS Wamalwa. And, and thank you for your KC trial. Um, may I, uh, with tremendous respect and humility, invite our elder brother, our Chief Justice, and the President of the Supreme Court of Kenya, the Honorable Justice David Maraga to make some remarks for us. Karibu Judge.
and argue and argue and move on. You have lost a good leader. You have lost a peaceful man. Mama Naomi, we spoke when I came to your home. Emily, we want to wish you well as a family. Yamira County has lost a leader. The, his cabinet, his, 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 his government, everyone has lost a leader and has a loss in one way or the other. But I believe you are the one who, who have been hit most. We want to pray for you. And we are sure that uh, the peaceful atmosphere that Nyagarama had, you will keep it and move on. May God bless you and as you move on with the family. And uh, I want to wish you all the best as you bear this great loss. To Honorable Nyaribo, we wish you well as you start. And... Uh, you move on with the with the county. Atuna make mengi ni kusema pole sana. Mungu atubariki sisi wote. Na vile pastor alisema somewhere in Makori. Let all of us when our time comes die as wise people. God bless you. Thank you so much uh, CJ. I needed to point out that uh, the Honorable Chief Justice is accompanied by his wife. Madam, please, if you don't mind, uh, if you would just stand up and wave to the mourners. Uh, Asande sana, Mama. Thank you very much. Now, uh, after I do what I do, I'm going to invite our last speaker, who is the Right Honorable Prime Minister, to speak to us. But before I do so, I want, first of all, to bring a special message of condolences from the head of the Catholic Church in the Kisi Diocese, Bishop Mairura. We have been speaking, and he asked me specifically to say pole to the family. I want to take this opportunity to ask the senior public servants who are in the room, particularly the senior public servants, principal secretaries, Solicitor General, if you could very kindly, graciously stand up. The county commissioners, the deputy county commissioners, I cannot see all of you, but I know that uh, in the audience we have uh, my colleague Maureen Mbaka was mentioned, the Assistant Minister for Youth. We have our Solicitor General, uh, Mr. Ken Ogeto. Uh, I can see Achoki, I think. Uh, I can see P.S. Marwa uh, from Ministry of Labor and P.S. Uh, my sister Susan Mochache from the Ministry of Health. Uh, I know that I saw uh, Regional Commissioner Central, uh, Mr. Nyawanga, somewhere in the audience, and even our County Commissioner in Narok, Mr. Evans Achoki, in the audience, and if there are any other senior officials from the other branches of government. May I graciously, very graciously request Mr. Justice Charles Nyachai of the East African Court of Justice, because I saw him come in. He must be somewhere in the audience. Uh, Mr. Nyachai, oh, he left. Uh, yeah, I saw him when he came in. Maybe he has left. Um, uh, Mr. Victor Okioma and so many of you public servants, Asante Sana, my colleagues uh, who are here. Uh, secondly, among Naomi and the family. I want to convey our very sincere condolences from so many uh, public servants from this part of the country. Uh, we formed a group which was coordinated by Solicitor General Ken Ogeto, and at the end of the funeral and all that, we will see you and uh, deliver a message uh, from all these senior civil servants some of them were serving in our missions out of the country. Secondly, uh, I have also so many messages of condolences from some of my cabinet colleagues, others who are dealing directly, 
CS uh, uh, James Masharia, the Minister for Transport, CS Mutai Kawe, CS John Munez, Peter Munya, and the others. And we also uh, put a special message that we will uh, submit to you at the right time. Lastly, before I make my final remarks and read the President's message, I wanted to ask my brother Amos Nyaribo and the leaders of Nyamira. The last function, public function we had no Nyagarama was at Ikonge. When we were here with the President the other day after Masuja Day, Mwaka Nyagarama tried to read a memorandum of things that he wanted the President to attend to. And then he didn't read the memorandum. Those of you who are there, you were there. You saw what happened. I want to ask you sincerely, if you can get us a copy of that memorandum, and uh, we try to see almost what is there that we need to deal with so that we can fulfill the wishes. So let me make a few remarks. I want to assure you we will stay together. We'll stick together. We are brothers and sisters. I assure you, I, as I said on Friday when we met in Arambe House, I will take personal attention on this matter and uh, ensure that David Devi, especially David Tomoako, we are together. Because important Torrengo for a season. About one in particular, a corner of Moscow. A carotoga tell you about to call him to be a coin of Antovito, Kinegan to King Angel. Named Antonia Kumus Hanana. Pantawanga Bakwan Rega, Mospeakan to Quaranae, a lot to Riguaja Nairobi. Nandinga Koranga, Navara Kavam, Mintora, public servant to Kavotavia. Navas or the Kamala and members of the county assembly. We all quite have been to raise Avantobari. Lakini again to kiuchi kukole kane sobo ene kato tuwa rura na kike kumata in the wrong run. Nto chaka kwenye kungusana na nko siri tole jinsa. We are losing time kuna kungusana na uchia uchia. Tato kwenye stoka ndoto karanzenze ya motobu kwa terana na nyalivo. Tomobu kwa atisi ya sukie county ya itobusio. Kene kikera abeka tika. Kusi yu otobu kwa teba hati nyasai kato seni. Otobu kwa taba ndoka wa raire nse ya vande wa kolele kasi ya matuka mange. Vantaba ngayi nibale kaba kaka wako wana haba wama tundura wako kekoro. I want to be Kamo, to be Kaman to Baito Amo. Jim Choko Gababa and Tobaito, Tijili Jingia, Natoba Master, we are with Chia, Nori with Chia, and so on. The Catholic Angel at Togo Quan and Twenty Amo, Kennegans and Akeba, Kenton Kirikrabe, Kongrabe, and Dokwana, Egero Mako and Atorgeti Exambekia, Jenana Corraza Matukuna, very public life, Make, Nana Corraza, Yaramako, and Mumonto, Osako and Yumonto Bobe, 
Nabo de Java Jumbe or Egadua in the President Dinga, Ondo Nakora and Yaramesa, good and Lumon to Bato Tavia Sam Road. Mohako, Ringo Moako Muya, Ovega Tavan to Mons Yamanezo, Comaletra Mascania, you, Tigana in two regime with Joko Wake up and to Baitoamo, to Bateranne, Tokora Mascani, Tolengre Yavanta, Bavania Miraga, Abavato, Jolete, Savanta, Bato Eteli, Bagato Colegas. Yako Roma in Tom Mario, eh? Again to Gekomata and Kerina, Obogmabavanta, Bango Jinji, or Simple Jinji. Yona waso wa kama nanta wa ntwa mimi tutubu ya terane na ndi tope yamo. Walipa ndi mwanzi wa kuwana na nchi wa nkwani na nchi. Na mwangi tabi na ndi nimi ndi mwanzi ya kuwani. Nkule rengo tewa, tika toa kiromo wa ambibu ya nsembu ya mwono. Presidenti ya ito otosikire na ndi nabu ya taba nsike nubu wa nchini saba ntwa mimi. Eutali la liti tanga ni akue ruwe rebuwe kwa manyene kwa tubu ya tzike kwa tubu ya taba kongu. Mwanda kwa tuwa ziriti umu kako obu ocha. Kika to kani tingu ma ito obu ocha wako tike kazi serikali ya matuka mange na ndi mwanto umu yale. No one to get to get to a new boat and a mascan. And even now on the Botambe, when you would get to Jacorongi and over Montomorongi, Keromuaco, Mina, Zirim, Noyo Manene, Uyangabu no Mubulio, you more to Tava Ibolivino. Oko Hiribaga, Ocaransens, or Yelian to a minimum of attack at the top of what is to a new Marco, a mascan. Nara to a Corriga. You won't go back at our Ibaxi ones in Biamono, Governor Minto, Guay and Biamono, Senator Biamono, Marco and Gay in Biamono, but I buy to not to a water and Riga. Toke endere wano kubenze meye Na ritura nyalugu suki kisa kuki ito busyo Na ritura suki ya wanto wa ito busyo So Nkole re A message kurese president An encouragement following the death of Governor John Obiero Nyagarama To the family Relatives and all the residents Of Nyamira County May the peace of our Lord Jesus Christ Which surpasses all understanding Keep your hearts Strong and cover you during this difficult time. Governor Nyagarama was a self-made man. He was a determined and focused leader who always worked to provide solutions to daily life challenges. He cherished peace, accommodating everyone, even those whom he couldn't agree with. Governor Nyagarama was always a leader who had a way of reaching out even to his opponents. It is Mr. Nyagarama's unique ability to understand the challenges facing Wananchi and his strong work ethic that propelled him to the high echelons of our country's leadership, rising to become the first governor of Nyamira County. Indeed, his name was synonymous with success and discipline, both in the private and public sectors, where he served with dedication, demonstrating the virtues of consistency and purpose. He appeared to possess a Midas touch, as demonstrated by his success in transforming various organizations into very productive entities within a short time while at the helm. Governor Nyagarama was a passionate uh, leader, especially about education, and work to ensure that all children in Nyamira accessed quality education. He also left a mark of success in the tea sector where, together with others, he managed uh, to revive the sector and make it attractive to both local and foreign investors. As a nation, we shall forever be indebted to Governor Nyagarama for his long and illustrious service to the country as a public servant and as a political leader. Indeed, he has left an indelible mark in all the places he served. He made significant contribution to many areas that shaped various institutions. Of we will continue to stand with you in this hour of grief. We also pray that the Lord uh, the fond memories of his love will fill the void left by the death and help you overcome the sadness and pain occasioned by his departure. May you take solace from the word of God in Revelation 14, verse 13, which says, And I heard a voice from heaven saying unto me, Write, Blessed are the dead which die in the Lord from henceforth. Ye shall the spirit 
that they may rest from their labors and their works to follow them and quote we pray to our almighty god to rest the soul of governor john obiero nyagarama in everlasting peace uhuru kenyatta president and commander in chief of the defense forces of the republic of kenya it's now my distinct privilege and pleasure to invite Mzewetu to conclude for us this segment by making some remarks, Honorable Prime Minister Rai Laudinga. Joy, Tumekuja kukomboleza John Obiero Nyagarama Sibur Manganga Sibur Manganga min Inamanisha Simba Shuja. Simba Shuja, a fierce lion. And Jina Obiero, I mean, I'm being mimi, the toka copandi and yanyaki. I'm very toka kuli chini. There's a woman in Kiwana, Kilamara, and a sema Obiero. And I'm even a sema Jaduong. John Obiero Nyamanganga. Ni mkenya shupavu. Mama Naomi na jami wote tumesema pole. Tumepoteza rafiki shuja. Kwangu nyumani nimeleta risala ya rambirambi ya mama Aida na watutu wetu. Na vile vile ingawaje uh, uh, mashitiangi ya mesoma Leo asubuhi nimeongea na President Uhuru Kenyatta amaniambia niambie hiyo ma Good. 
tena haki Asiye sema uongo Mwenye moyo mwe upe Mwenye mawasi safi Ni mtu waenda ye Kwa ukangilifu sana Pia kutenda haki Asiye sema uongo Mwenye moyo mwe upe Mwenye mawasi safi mambo ya rais mani imperial president imekuja mpaka sasa tukafika hapa tukapigana ukombozi wa pili tukafika hapa yale mba mimi nataka kuona sasa ni kuona kama wakenya maungana pamoja wamekuja kama kitu kimoja that is a legacy we want to bequeath the people of Kenya and that is the meaning of the handshake Mimi ningependa kuona kama Kenya imekuja pamoja imeungana imekuwa kama kitu kimoja. That is my the legacy I want to leave to the people of Kenya. And that is the reason why nataka BBI a e petition na wakenya wote kwa jumla. Asante ni sana Mungu aweke nyagarama pale pema peponi. Asante. Uh, Moso katura saba Kimuranche Aba kusiba minto ntua renge kabire Yimu vaisa kwa soka guango Tika tu sabo kwa saba kuwa moelio Batu sabi ruweka wato kwa soka Please last prayer We are going to have the final prayer now And then Only the MCS The members of parliament The governors of course, the CSS, the Prime Minister, and the Deputy Governors, those are the only ones who go to Nyamiya to Nyagarama's house uh, for the final interment because of the space. Please, nobody else should go there apart from the ones I've mentioned. All right. Um, Ebna Tuambe. Tafadhali tutulie tuombe. Our dear loving father, we want to thank you for the way you have led us in this service. It has been a very peaceful service. Now when we go to the graveside service, we also want that your presence be with us as it has been since morning. We want to thank you for our leaders and the words of wisdom they have given to the family and the large Anyamira family and the Kenya in general. Now we want to ask that you give traveling masses to each one of us, those who are traveling far and near, that they reach their homes safely, that the Kenya will enjoy peace and tranquility, that we will just be uh, one people who aspire for coexistence and brotherhood and sisterhood. Bless us for this time and as we finish the service, may everything that has been said here and whatever will be said later this afternoon, this evening, be with us and may your grace be upon us and upon everyone else because we pray all this in Jesus' name. Amen.
Mande vale mocheri. 